the, 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 the 96 Sonic. The fuck off the show. I'm talking to you, nigga. What's up? What's up? You in a lot of what's up? How many verses do a nigga gotta kill to get a deal? I wonder why the fakest niggas always acting like they real. These are questions that be on my mind. My shorty mad, she won't cause, I ain't got the time. You see, I'm making classics, these rappers is bastards. His flow, really tragic, you niggas is average. Got me plotting a takeover, that shit is a given. Charlie Sheen, 2011, my niggas is winning. Just had a talk with my mama, I'm so tired of drama. Just need a vacay crate, she from the Bahamas. You know I'm in the stew and yeah, your son is a problem. You ever say you gon' call and you never do call him. That's how I'm doing them lately. Say that she ain't feeling me. Give it some time. She still gon' date me. And I will call your name out. But on second thought, you don't deserve this clout. The, 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 the 96 Sonic? The fuck off the show. Real rapping. If you speaking on my name, make sure that it's facts. Because if you stab me in the back, then I ain't taking you back. We screaming out. I wish I did, but no, nigga, I do not. Fucking with my set, you guaranteed to get your crew not. And they be acting like they really won't beef, and they be lying in their songs about how they run in the streets. Like, okay, you a gangster now. I bet your mama and your family, they so damn proud. Y'all stuck on the ground while we all in the clouds. We got the key to life, and they ain't figured it out, but. We'll let you know how the story goes These rappers wash like them clothes That they still ain't full Lyrics to all your fucking songs Man, don't nobody know If rap had a draft Y'all wouldn't ever go pro But I ain't trying to make enemies You not fam, so you niggas ain't no kin to me You act tough, but don't really put no fear in me Fuck any nigga that don't see the vision clearly We screaming out, fuck the haters We everything they won't be Screaming out, fucking pay us, cause we don't do this shit for free. We screaming out, fuck the haters, we have everything they won't be. We screaming out, fucking pay us, cause we don't do this shit for free. Cause y'all baby this. I don't know about a baby, man, man. Oh, shut that fuck. Allow me to reintroduce you myself. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Chat, no, this nigga didn't just get on a fucking computer. Bro, you you want stats? I, I'm I'm looking for the facts. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ, bring in my good friend. Man. How you doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about scam. I know what you got up, a lot. man. That's his name, Dormy Scam. <laughs> I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to tell you. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. Tell me, bro. As a Laker, you guys gotta stop thinking of mediocre. The, the, the dude, now y'all got on one channel. They say the the players are trash. You know that I like it, baby. On his one channel, Ooh, girl, you know what's up. he's talking about you right now. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. I do. You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for PJ Tucker. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Shut your bitch ass up! Robert. Yes, 
ladies and gentlemen, man, welcome back to the locker room. You already know who it is, man. But in case you don't, it's your boy Reggie, man. Y'all do me a favor and drop a like on the video, man. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. We have over 90 people in the building, only 19 likes, man. Please, ladies and gentlemen, likes are free, man. Take a quick second and drop a like on the video, man. We got to talk about these things, man. I'm excited. Um, I love this time of the year. Um, because now, you know, it, it's, it's put up or shut up, right? It's it's win or go home. And now we see what guys are really, really made of, right? Now, now is the time. Um, so, yeah, man, we got a lot to discuss on this particular show. Shout out to uh, all the members in the building, man. We got Lakers Insight in the building. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Okay, shout out to all things basketball. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. I do. He said all the players are trash. Okay, shout out to BMW, man. We ain't seen BMW in a few days, man. Shout out to BMW. Max Christie, fuck you. Because you got a girlfriend, you be adding my bitch back to fuck her. Even though you're not getting any pussy from her. Now, like I told you, hoes, man, um, you know, y'all are going to have to give Max some pussy, man. Um, he's not going to be playing pretty, you know. We're in the playoffs now, so, you know, Max is just going to be sitting there on the bench, kind of just watching the game like the rest of us, man. So, yeah, you guys are going to have to give Max his pussy, man. Um, you know, this is getting actually ridiculous. Um, I mean, the dude plays for the Lakers. Imagine you play for the Lakers and they still won't give you no pussy. Like, that's fucking crazy, man. That's fucking, that's a scam. Uh, okay, shout out to Top Flight High, man. What's going on, man? Son of Ab, I see, man. Um, that's actually insane, man. Um, okay, shout out to Swagger Brian, man. We got Free Introvert. We also got Anubis, Owen Music, Dwayne Coleman, Eric. Um, okay. Shout out to Jay Money. Shout out to my guy Armani Cox in the building. What's going on, man? We got Levanes, um, Trey82, Darnell Jackson. Shout out to Najee you Chosen. What's going on, man? Um, we got Unique, JJ in the building, um, Old School 602, Samurai Beast Warrior. What's going on, man? Noah Two Wavy. I see you, man. I see you, man. Shout out to Quabina, Daniel Sims, Deshaun. What's going on, man? Um, Man, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, what my favorite sound by this chat before we get get on with the show. Y'all know my favorite. Well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite. We got a lot. I got a lot of favorites. Right. Y'all y'all do me a favor and, and drop a like on the video, man. We only got we only got 38 likes on the video, man. Let's try to get these likes up, chat. Y'all y'all want to know one of my favorite sound bites, though, for this show, man. I'm, I'm t I, y'all think y'all be laughing at this show, bro. I don't I, I, I literally listen back to the show <laughs> once we're done. Like, I just be up all night just listening to the show. And, uh, man, I, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. One of my favorite sound bites, like I said, um, you know, one of my personal favorites, man, is is, is that MJ sound bite, man. I mean, that, that shit is honestly hilarious, bro. Um, <laughs> the dude said, he said, we got a veteran up in here, man, MJ. <laughs> I know you got a lot to say about scam, man. I know you got a lot to say about scam. <laughs> then MJ comes on. MJ came on. MJ came on mad as hell, man. MJ say, what up, man? <laughs> that's his name, Darvin Scam. Yo, that's the funniest clip, bro. I swear, man. Hold on, man. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ. Bring in my good friend, man. How you do. doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about Scam. I know you got up, man. That's his name, Darwin Scam. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to tell you. I'm going to be honest with you, Dan. Tell me, bro. As a Laker, you guys got to stop thinking of mediocre. The, the dude, now you already got on one channel, they say the, the player is trash on his one channel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. 
He said all the players are trash. She likes it my way. You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for PJ Tucker. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. Shut your bitch ass up! <sighs> Uh, that was that, that's just a phenomenal soundbite, man. I, I got to give MJ his credit on that one, man. That's why we had to bring MJ back, chat. MJ, MJ was putting up numbers on other teams, man. We had to, we had to, we had to make a sign and we had to do a sign and trade, chat, to bring MJ back, man. Uh, we had to, we had to get MJ back on the show. Um, okay, now let's get on with the show, man. Enough fun, enough with the funny game. We got to get serious, ladies and gentlemen. It's a serious show, right? We got to get serious, man. Um, because Darvin Ham, you guys see the title of the show. Darvin Ham, okay, is obviously listening to the show, okay? Obviously. It's obvious at this point, chat. Uh, you know, Darvin Ham had some comments last night that let me know Darvin Ham is clearly listening to this show, okay? Now, I came across a clip last night on Twitter. Let me actually let me get this music cut off because I, I, I need you guys to hear this clip. Zero now. Back to zero and zero. We with all the smoke and we ain't ducking no fades. We're going to enjoy this one tonight, take tomorrow off, and then we'll go from there. Zero now. Back to zero and zero. We with all the smoke and we ain't ducking no fades. We're going to enjoy this one tonight, take tomorrow off, and then we'll go from there. So... <laughs> like I said, man, this was last night on on Twitter, man. Um, I, and then I, I I quoted this tweet, ladies and gentlemen, and I said, Nah, man, Darvin clearly watches this show, man. There's, 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 there's Darvin clearly watches this show, man. Like, there's no way, bro. You, you guys heard what Darvin just said, man. He said, "We want all the smoke, and we're not ducking any fate." Is, is that not exactly what we said about the fucking chicken nuggets? Is that not exactly what coach says that, man? What what coach says that? You're listening, Darvin's listening to the show, chat. There's no way. Darvin, what's going on, man? What up, man? Um listen, you know, we've been we've been extremely I'm gonna just say me. I'm gonna speak for me today. I've been extremely critical of you, Darvin Scam, right? Um, but I I, I like this energy though. I ain't gonna lie, chat. I like this energy. This is the energy we need to have. Like I said. The narrative out there is the Lakers need to duck Denver. Fuck all that, man. I don't want to see nobody else put Denver out of the playoffs. I want the Lakers to be the one to put Denver out of the playoffs, like we did in 2020, the year we won a championship. But we all know all y'all have, you know, um, I don't even know. I don't even know what you dudes have. It's, it's clear, though. You, you know, your memory isn't working properly. It might be the weed you guys smoke all the time. Who knows? But, you know, people act like 2020 is ancient history. No, man, that was only four years ago, okay? Like I said, it's 1-1. We beat them, then they came back and beat us. Now we're going to see, right? Now we're going to see who's going to take round three. And I got, I, I, I'm, I'm betting on the Lakers, ladies and gentlemen, to, to beat them. Now, Darvin Scam, ladies and gentlemen, you guys heard the audio. He's talking, he's talking spicy before the series even gets started. Darvin Ham is on is on the hot seat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Darvin Scam is on the hot seat. This this series, in my opinion, will determine Darvin Darvin Ham's um fate and future with the Lakers. I'm gonna say that again. I believe this series will determine. Darvin Ham's future and fate with the Lakers. You better come with your best stuff, bro. Straight up. Now, what was the excuse last year? Oh, rookie season. Oh, new roster. A uh, 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 chemistry. Oh, come on. Denver was just a better team, Reg. Right? Well, guess what? 
most of those excuses you can't use them anymore ladies and gentlemen right we we, we can't use them anymore now we have we've had d'angelo russell here now over a year now it's been over a year he got here last year in february he got here february of 2023 we're now in may or april of 2024 he's been here over a year so you've had plenty of time now we didn't trade you so now you've had a whole season to get acclimated to to to, to figure out lebron and ad figure out austin reeves figure out where these guys want the ball like the ball you figured out where to get your spots how to be effective so though the same excuses that y'all tried to use for d last year those excuses will not suffice this season there are no more excuses now what i noticed after yesterday's game against the new orleans pelicans right we i got a few comments people were like oh well now you want to now you want to uh uh uh, uh give d credit i'm like yo am i am i tripping here or, or or like did we just win the playoffs or what did we just win the championship what are you niggas talking about we played good against the Pelicans in the play-in game. Yeah, I gave them credit, but like, what are you niggas at? What are you niggas talking like we just knocked off Denver or something? No, man, you got to go through the first round, the second round, the third round, and then you got to play in the finals. This is a whole new season. The regular season's done. We're in the postseason now. This is a completely, in, an entirely different season now. It's not the same. Now we're going to lock in on, 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 on teams one at a time. Right? Now teams are going to exploit your weaknesses. You're going to get a chance to exploit their weaknesses. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, D'Angelo Russell played well yesterday. But... It means nothing. Yes, did Darvin Ham coach a decent game? Yesterday, sure. That means nothing. Because just like last year, we saw what happened. We beat Memphis in the first round. Okay, fine. We beat Memphis. We, we beat Golden State, excuse me, in the second round. Now, both of those teams, ladies and gentlemen, this year didn't even make the playoffs. Oh, but y'all don't want to talk about that. Now, remember, just last year, y'all were giving Darvin credit, and y'all said, oh, come on, Reg. He, he started 0-5 and, and got us all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Okay, well, the two teams he beat last year, Memphis and Golden State, both of those teams didn't even make the playoffs this year. So that Golden State win that Darvin Ham pulled out last year, looking a little bit fraudulent now. They're not even a playoff team. <laughs> they lost. They, they lost yesterday to the Sacramento Queens. That's who Darvin beat last year. Now he's going to have to go up against an adequate head coach, an adequate superstar in Nikola Jokic, and an adequate team in the Denver Chicken Nuggets. So you're talking spicy, saying we're not ducking any smoke. We want we want the fade and okay. I hope you gonna. I hope you come in with your best shit, cause what you did last year is not gonna cut it this year. It's not gonna cut it this year. Denver's beating us eight in a row. We need to see some new material, man. So, like I said, if you're just now tuning in, man, y'all do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Let me play this audio for the ones just now tuning in, man. If you guys didn't hear what Darvin Scam had to say. Um, you know, following yesterday's win, um, against the New Orleans Pelicans. This was this was Darvin Ham yesterday. After you gonna enjoy this one tonight. Take tomorrow off, and then zero now. Back to zero and zero. We with all the smoke, and we ain't ducking no fades. You gonna enjoy this one tonight. Take tomorrow off, and then we'll go from there. Zero now. Back to zero and zero. We with all the smoke and we ain't ducking no fades. You gonna enjoy this one tonight, take tomorrow off, and then we'll go from there.
He's talking about you right now. The locker room. He sent all the players to practice. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ. Let's bring in my good friend, man. How you doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about Scam. I know you got a lot. That's his name, Dormant Scam. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to tell you. I'm going to be honest with you, Dan. Tell me, bro. As a Laker, you guys got to stop thinking of mediocre. She likes it my the, way. That dude, now y'all the guy on one channel, they say the, the players are trash on his one channel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about you right now, the locker room. He said all the players are trash. Minnesota, we played Milwaukee Bucks in Minnesota. Mind you, we beat Milwaukee earlier the year anyway. So it's our second time playing them, last time playing them. For sure, I'm thinking Giannis is about to play. Comes in, I would look on the board, Giannis' name is out. I'm furious now. Why the fuck he ain't playing? Go out to do my warm or shoot around before the game, see his brother. Oh, what's up? Your brother Duck and Smoke? He, no, 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 no. Some with some he said, oh, all right, Duck and Smoke, all right. We laugh about it, all right? I'm watching somebody work out, just waiting on my time. Giannis is walking out the locker room to the court, stops the coaches. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the coaches. He, he, this true story. <laughs> true story. Stop the coaches. He, excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. Greek, what up, G? Never duck smoke, Pat. Never, never duck smoke. I said, why the fuck you ain't playing, Greek? Yeah, I was in the back eating pasta, but never duck smoke, Pat. Never, never. He, I like you. I like you, Pat. I like you. I like you. Want to win championship? You know, I like you. You come to Milwaukee, Pat. I like you. I'm not fuck that. You come to. You come to Minnesota. He, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm with Giannis on this one, man. I'm with Giannis on this one, Chad. Never, never duck smoke, Pat. Never, never duck smoke. Never duck smoke. <laughs> never duck smoke, Pat. Never duck smoke. Never duck smoke. I'm with that this year, Chad. I, I, I don't want nobody else putting out Denver, and I don't even believe anybody else can put out Denver. To be honest, I'd have to see to believe it. Maybe Phoenix could. Who knows? Um. But either way, we were going to have to see this team anyway. Let's go ahead and get it over with. Let's go ahead and get them out the way ASAP. <laughs> as soon as possible, right? Now, we all know, um, you know, there were a lot of shows today that had, you know, thoughts on, on this uh, series between the Lakers and the Nuggets. This was Nick Wright, ladies and gentlemen, Um on on the Lakers' chances against the Denver Nuggets. Because when we gave our official predictions, you know, I, we were conference finals and then finals, right. we don't know what the bracket's going to be. Right. So I had Denver over Lakers in the conference finals. Now, through no fault of my own, that's an impossibility. So I'm obligated yeah. so to adjust. To. Right. So Denver in the first round. Well, so that's I mean, what would you would think, right? Don't do this. But You've been so good with the Chief stuff. The, can I? So listen, I, Wilds, what did you say right at the top of the show? Nope. I was up all night. So, I mean, those that, that, that spaces I was on ended at 1.35 a.m. Eastern. Yes. And I used the next six hours before my daughter got awake to really grind the tape. Okay. Because yeah. here's the deal. Wait. I want to see... If there is a reason, because obviously I would like the Lakers to win. Sure. I like LeBron. Is there a reason to believe they can? Reason to believe they would. So I went through my checklist of things. All right. When they most recently played, was there an aberrant shooting performance in the modern NBA that can change anything? And I text Josh middle of the night. I'm like, hey, yeah. did how did the Nuggets shoot in that series compared to every other the whole, series or the everything? Whole series. The whole series. And I'm like, oh. So that's the best <clears throat> by any team against a LeBron team in a decade. All right, so that's that's a note. Like, okay, I'll mark that down. All right, what about how uh, did either team have a key player play the best of his life? And did either team have a key player play the worst of his life? I'm like, okay, Josh, can you check that for me? I'm like, oh, D'Angelo Russell has been a bad playoff performer, had the worst series of his life. 23 minutes, 6 points, 13% from three. And Jamal Murray, who's been a very good playoff performer, yeah. had the best series of his life. I'm like, okay, that's a no. All right, what about how are the teams different? <laughs> Did one team suffer any key significant losses or additions from players that played in last year's yeah. series? 
It's like, well, Denver had a very short rotation, but they did lose Bruce Brown. Yeah. And replacing it is Christian Brown. And we can show you who else. Okay, so Christian Brown and Reggie Jackson, who are now going to take the Bruce Brown minutes, in last year's Western Conference Finals, they had no production, and Bruce Brown was a sneaky, important sixth man. And then, but that still wasn't enough. I mean, no, they've gotten it, it better. That right? still, that still it wasn't. I, again, that still wasn't enough. Yeah. And it's not enough Is just he really that. Going here? You know, game one. If you go, went back, because now it's only four in the morning. I have time. I can yeah. rewatch some of these games. Keep going. Jokic has. The best first half Jeff Van Gundy's ever seen in a playoff game. He told us when he, when he was on the broadcast. And it's a three-point game with a minute left. Game two, Jamal Murray is one of the greatest fourth quarters in the finals ever, 23 points. And it's a two-point game with a minute left. Game three, Jamal Murray beats D'Lo 37-3. And it's tied in the fourth. And then game four, of course, comes down to the final shot. And now I'm like, you know what? I think this could be a coin flip series. <laughs> And then, but because of that, I still was going to stick with Denver because that's who I've been with. Yeah. Then this morning, you know, when I'm wide-eyed, been up 30 hours at this point, I get the alert. I'm like, oh, no. Is one of these teams dealing with a massive distraction? That might lock them in Is more. one of these teams dealing with, you know, one of the biggest scandals in modern NBA history, touching a family member of a key player? It crossed Dusty, my mind. Dusty, the cro- envelope. It crossed my mind. I mean, what? it's not nothing. Wilds, I'm going to trust you to read this to the audience. As you will see, it is wax sealed on the back. Wow. Monogrammed, if you would, please. Not monogrammed. It, oh, really? Sharpie. Look at the wax seal on the back. Tell I don't me, think tell me goes, if that's a wax seal. He goes monogram. through all this to nice. pick the nuggets. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll tell you that. You want me to read this part? This, well, just oh, do not say. open. Okay, it's confidential. Do like, not open until And it is really wax sealed. Wax seal. You have a wax sealer? Wow. I... For events like this. Okay. It's like the NBA draft. It is like the NBA draft. I'm, I'm stunned. With the first pick, <laughs> the first redo pick, since we all put our official picks in a week ago, mm-hmm. Nick Wright has selected... Wow. The Los in Angeles six. In six. Not even seven. In six. In I guess six. they got two exclamation home. points. You're exactly wow. right. Lakers in six. And America, if that ends up not being the case, I mean, make be sure amazing. you clip just the screenshot of Wilds <laughs> holding that up <laughs> so we can use it against him for years. The modern digital for years. world. Brew. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. I do. He said all the players are trash. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, man, you guys just heard what Nick Wright had to say, man. He predicted Lakers in six. Um, you know, I, I predicted that, that last year I'm going to stick with my prediction, right? I might just be a year late, but I'm going to stick with the same prediction as well. Lakers in six, man. I agree with Nick Wright, man. Um, I got, I got Lakers in six, ladies and gentlemen. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for PJ Tucker. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Shut your bitch ass up! So, ladies and gentlemen, man, um, you know, I put the link in the chat for you guys, man. Um, you know, is it, if there's anybody out there that, that wants to chime in, maybe you believe the Nuggets are going to win. Maybe you have faith in the chicken Nuggets, right? Maybe you guys do. I don't know. Um, but what I find interesting is that 
last year, nobody came into last season saying the Chicken Nuggets were this juggernaut, unbeatable team. Nobody said this, right? <laughs> nobody said that going into last season. Nobody predicted the Chicken Nuggets were going to win the championship, all right? Except uh, that that clown Exo Luis. You, you guys, some of y'all don't even. Some of y'all weren't here, but um, yeah, we had a clown, uh, um, a, a troll. He had to get. He, he got blocked, but his name was uh, Exo Luis. He ended up. He ended up changing his name to uh, Nuggets in Five. Um, we 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 ended up clowning him and calling him Nuggets in Eight. Um, but he was right last year. You know, I got to give him his credit. He was right. In the Chicken Nuggets, they 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 pulled it out, man. They pulled it out. Um, but yeah, he was the only one outside of that. Nobody, nobody thought the fucking chicken nuggets. And I don't even, I don't even think he believed it when he said it. I think he was just, you know, he was just talking out of his ass. I don't, I don't genuinely feel like he believed that when he said it, but, uh, yeah, he was the only, he was the only one, man. All right. We got some action, man. Let me see who this is, man. Yo, who is this man? Yo, yo, who is this? Dante, what do you got, man? Man, them people are delusional, bro. They think that they never. Yo, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You sound like you in a windstorm, man. I'm sorry, chat. I, 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 I had to, I had to get him off the show, chat. Um, it sounded like he was in a windstorm. Yo, I don't know if you like. I don't know where you at, man. It sound like you ro- rolling on the highway somewhere, man. In a car somewhere with probably with the window rolled down, man. Um, Dante, no disrespect, man. You know, it's all love, but I, I had to kick you off the show, man. No disrespect. Yo. Yo, who is this? You can hear me? Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, hey, like what do you think the Lakers is gonna do for the rest of the season, bro? Like what, what is think? what what do what do you think that like their your projections for them? Championship. I mean, are you fucking delu- are you delusional, bro? Like let's be real. A championship? Free are smoke, you- free smoke, hey, free smoke, free smoke, hey. <laughs> did I did I stutter? Did, do you need me you, to repeat? Do, you, do you, need, you did do you, a stutter. Do you need but do that- you need me to repeat myself? Bro, your second fucking best player on the team can't even stay motherfucking healthy, bro. And he's coming back. <laughs> said bro your second fucking best player on the team can't even stay motherfucking healthy bro (laughs) i said he's coming back chat this was last year man before the trade deadline man we we were extremely optimistic last year man this year you guys know it 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 hasn't it it hasn't the feeling hasn't been the same but i'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm becoming more optimistic by the day, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why, and and it's because of one player on this team, and I've been extremely impressed with him ever since he's gotten back from from his surgery, and that would be Gabe Vincent. That would be Gabe Vincent, ladies and gentlemen. I think the addition of of Gabe Vincent is gonna pay huge dividends for this team, and we talked about this last night with um with uh, I think his name was Coach Flex. We talked about we got another coach chat that called in last night. Another coach um, named Coach Flex. So we we spoke last night. Good call, and you know he agreed with me on on the Gabe Vincent point. Right? I've been watching these games, man, and and Gabe Vincent, you know his activity defensively, it's it's been it's been you know a, a, a sight to see. Right? Um, okay, shout out to Vin Vega, man. What's going on, man? So, me personally, um, you know, I, I, I just think that, that that him being back and him getting some games underneath his belt before we get into postseason action is going to be critical for this ball club, especially in this Denver series, because we're going to need it, man. Um, you know, I seen a clip of Gabe Vincent, and he said that he hates when the other team scores, right? So, that mentality, I'm not going to lie to you guys, man, I love it, Um you know, because that's what we need. We need we need some dogs, right? Now, is he a Draymond Green type dog? I wouldn't go that far, right? Like I told you guys last night, um, you know, Draymond, that's like, you know, top tier dog, right? That's like an elite dog. That's like, 
you know, Rottweiler pit bull territory type dog. You know, Jose Alvarado, like last night, Patrick Beverly, these are like little chihuahuas, right? Dennis Schroeder, guys just kind of running around, not really doing anything. You know, like Russ said a few years ago, Pat Bev out here just tricking y'all. You know what I mean? He's not really playing defense. He just kind of out here running around, making it look good, right? Um, those are those kind of guys. Now, a guy like Gabe Vincent, what's in between, like, what would be like, in, I don't, I, I never owned a dog, but what would be between like a, 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 a Rottweiler or a Pitbull and like a, a Chihuahua? Like, what would be, what would be the middle ground, chat? Because whatever that middle ground is, I feel like that's where Gabe is at. You know what I mean? He's, he's a step above like a Jose Alvarado type player. Um, but he's not exactly like Draymond level. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, yeah, man, um, I think, like I said, the Gabe Vincent edition is, is going to be huge, man, for this ball club. Um, I'm just praying to God the man can stay healthy. And, yeah, man, I, I, I like I said, I see Gabe Vincent, um, you know, coming up big for us. And the reality is, in my opinion, and I said this last night, too, um, you know, I think Gabe Vincent is going to be more useful than, than, than even a Jared Vanderbilt because, you know, if you look at a Jared Vanderbilt last year in the Western Conference Finals, and we can actually get to it, um, you know, we can actually get into the box score of last year's playoffs. But like I told you guys, man, um, Jared Vanderbilt was rendered useless in the playoffs last year. So, you know, I think the Gabe Vincent um, addition for this ball club, it's going to pay huge dividends. All right, we got Lamont. What's going on, man? What up, man? What's going on, man? What you got? Hey, what you think about these matchups? I mean, it, it sounds like now that you overcome your phobia of the Denver Nuggets, you can see that the Lakers are also a matchup problem for this Denver team. What, what's your thoughts on these matchups? Where where you think the Lakers can can uh, expose the Denver Nuggets if they're gonna win four two? Um. Yeah, what are you outside, man? With some birds chirping, what, what do you got going on, man? Yeah, I'm in my backyard, man. Yeah, I go inside. I go inside. It's yeah, too yeah. loud. Did you go inside, man? You got birds <laughs> around and shit. Um. <laughs> but nah, I I think uh the like I said, you know, we talked about this last night. Um, I think. I think um, the the biggest adjustment that I I think that it needs to be made, and I talked about this last night with with Coach Flex, is uh, you got to play a big next to AD, right? I think when you put last year when you put Rui, it was two things: it was the constant doubling that I think killed us, and I think it was the putting putting Rui on on um, Nikola Jokic. I thought that that was just a bad matchup for Rui, like Rui all year. I mean, you know, I've watched all these games this this season, right? We've covered. We've covered all these games. I haven't seen Rui guard the center. I don't think. I mean, maybe he's done it in in spot minutes, but I, 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 I it's it would be hard pressed for me to remember a time where Rui Hachimura guarded a center, right? Like I think most most this year he's. I don't think he's. I don't think he's really guarded a center at all. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe he's done it in spot minutes here and there, but for the most part, he's never like guarded a center. So if, if that's Darvin's strategy again this year, I think, you know, then then my thoughts will change. But I'm just banking on the fact that Darvin's going to, you know, do do things differently this year. I mean, he's got to. So I would say, you know, you you, you, you got to play a big next to AD. Um, and then I would say, yeah, just don't double. The doubling killed us last year. Yeah. I, I think so. I, I mean – I don't know. It's it's tricky with this Laker team. I think I think I I think that they can employ a similar strategy uh, as they did last year. Um, and I think the difference last year was LeBron was just having one of his worst shooting performances of his career. He was in one of the biggest slumps of his career from. You know, I don't see that happening again. And I think with him being able to space the floor, you alleviate a little bit of pressure off AD. He can do his thing. 
Um, uh, I, I just see that just being the deal. I just don't see him LeBron performing as bad as he did. Uh, for as good of a game four as he had, he still shot horribly from the three point line. I think that might have been one of the differences. Obviously, get a little bit more production out of D'Lo, but I, I don't see them changing too much. I don't see Darvin Ham changing too much. I think the same three guard lineups he's been deploying. I think that's the same strategy he's gonna come with. Um, I just don't, you know. I, I, I mean, you can you can start Jackson Hayes, but then you're left with nothing on the bench to sub in for size. So. That's the, I think that's the, the, the trick. That's where the trick comes in um, as far as playing a big next to AD. Do you have the depth to even do that? So, but I, I still think they're, they outmatch this Denver team no matter what starting lineup they put out there. I think Brian and AD is just still a matchup nightmare for them. Yeah, like I said, bro, if, if he's going to do the same thing he did last year, then – you know, all bets are off. You know what I mean? Like I said, what I'm saying now is before I see any, before I see the starting lineup, before I watch us play, before I see any any of the games. Do, do you do, do you think play? LeBron is going to shoot this poorly? Do you think LeBron is going to shoot that bad again from the three point? Like historically bad. Like no, so I, bad, I, I don't, you I don't, don't have think, to. Receive. I don't think his bad shooting was the was the uh, reason. You know, we lost. Well, his bad shooting made everything harder for everyone else on the floor. So with his inability to, with, with him not making anything, it softens the defense on him, but tightens the defense on everyone else. So it makes every, and it makes everyone else's jobs harder. And then, so you've got two people that I expect to be better, Brian and D'Lo. I don't, I don't see D'Lo having a repeat nightmare series, and I don't see Brian having a repeat nightmare shooting series. And I think those two things heavily, they kind of, those two things happening at the same time. That's where Denver kind of lucked up in the beat in LA. Because those two things generally don't happen. Generally, D'Lo can shoot bad, but Brian, or or if Brian does shoot bad, D'Lo's there, just like we saw in the last game where Brian shot 6 to 20, but D'Lo should make five threes. Both of those things happening at the same time rarely ever happen. And I think that's the, that's what kind of, made things life easier for Denver last year because you had so many things going wrong for the Lakers at one time. I just don't see that happening. And Denver's not as strong coming off the bench. No Bruce Brown. I don't think Christian Brown is going to be the impact that some people think he is. Um, they have a rookie in Watson that I don't think he's going to be an impact in the playoffs. So I think they're just looking at a different Denver team. Okay, once again, so LeBron last year shot twenty seven percent. So he 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 was attempting seven three pointers a game, and he he was making two of them, right? So he's shooting forty percent. He's shooting forty percent this year. So that's maybe an extra you know one or two threes that he would knock down um, this year if we're just going based off percentages. I don't think that that's going to make a difference in in a series, you know, him making one or no, two. But, or that, three but that percentage is that percentage change changes how defense defenses defend the team. If, if you walk onto the court and you're a 27 percent three point shooter, you're not getting on at the three point line. But if you walk onto the court and you're a 40 percent three point shooter, that changes how defenses have to defend now. Right. That, that's a humongous gap that that changes defense. So I just like that's why I'm saying I don't see D low and Brian being both historically bad at the same time again. And I think that was the bailout for the Nuggets last year is you had two things going historically wrong for the Lakers at one time. While conversely, the Nuggets had Jamal Murray playing his greatest basketball of his playoff career, right? And so everything that could go right for the Nuggets went right, but then everything that could go wrong for the Lakers went wrong. And, you know, I, it's hard for me to – Envision that happening again. And like I said, it doesn't matter what lineup he puts out there. They still got to figure out how to guard Brown and AD. See, see um, once again, once again, I, I disagree with that because LeBron mm -hmm. said that last year. It doesn't matter the lineup. No, the lineup absolutely matters because it's about matching up. Like, well, lineup, hold on. You said LeBron said that? The lineups absolutely said, matter. Hold on. You said LeBron said that? Yeah, LeBron said the same thing. Okay. Now, last year, I want you to ask yourself, Rich. I'm going to ask you. Who's the superior basketball mind, you or LeBron? 
Well, obviously LeBron, but that doesn't mean that LeBron is right in everything that he says. There's a lot that of cap. That comes, there's, there's a lot of cap that comes out of LeBron's mouth. It is, but so, but, but I want you to I, step I, back I and look at that, that series. I would say that that's one of them. But, but let me ask you: Did Bron shoot historically bad from the three point line in that series? I mean, I don't know if I'd say. I mean, it's been the, it was the worst three point shooting series we've seen in a while. But once again, I don't okay. think. And, the and did D'Lo have his worst you've already, playoff you've already, series you've in his career? That. You've already said that. We get it. Now, all now do saying, you envision all, those two things happening again? I'm, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. If if matchups didn't matter, then how come in 2020, Frank Vogel, how come he didn't use the same rotations and lineups in every series we played in against all the teams we we, we played in the playoffs because, in 2020? Because Frank Vogel had completely different personnel, players, depth. Uh, um, he had a completely different team to utilize. He had two bigs, not one. Both so, bigs have so, experience so, in the league. But, but that, he had point that's, guard that's, that's depth. The point. He had he, that, that's no. The he, point. Had complete, you're, you're he had a complete. You're saying he had a completely. You can you can only match up based matter, on what you have. Th- if they didn't matter, then Frank Vogel would have used the same lineup every series, which he didn't. He would have used the same. No, but he done but the same thing every series. You can, he didn't. Well, all I'm saying, Rich, is you can only fight with the weapons you have. You can't go into a gunfight and then you look down in your armory and all you got is three swords, right? So the thing is, you have to fight based on the weapons you have disposable to you. The team that the Lakers are right now, this is the weapons that they have to to utilize, right? Unfortunately, this Laker team doesn't have the same weapons as the 2020 team did, like the two bigs, which Jokic himself has said is a problem. Yeah, for we, under, we understand. They don't the have that. We understand the personnel is different, but. Once again, you still have, like when we came into this season, AD said he wanted to build kind of the same thing that he had in 2020 with Dwight and JaVale with Christian Wood and Jackson Hayes. So even though Jackson Hayes and Christian Wood aren't the exact same players that Dwight and JaVale are, they're, it's, it's, it's a similar style. It's a but similar you don't have a Christian thing. Wood. I know. I said when we started the season. That, that's what AD said. Okay. But, but I'm talking about. But I know what AD said. We're talking about right now because they're about to play Saturday. There's no right. Christian Wood. So, but there, there is and Jackson, Jackson Hayes, Hayes is your only so you big. Only. Him. Okay. I'm, they, I, I'm, I know that they will utilize Jackson Hayes, but with no Christian Wood and you lose that depth that you thought you would have, it just has to change the way you fight. Because and now, if you start Christian Wood, I mean not Christian Wood, you start Jackson Hayes. Now you have to think about okay, where does my depth come from where does my size come from off the bench i have to fight differently when things change you can't just walk in with the same plan as if christian wood is just going to get healthy and he's going to be able to play well number one we're in the we're in the playoffs now so rotations are going to shrink guys are guys are going to be playing more minutes anyway so last year in the playoffs denver only went seven eight deep anyway it wasn't like they utilized their whole rotation they only use about seven eight guys so jackson hayes he, he's gonna have to play ad just gonna have to play they're gonna be okay. playing 30 plus minutes a night it's not it's not regular season okay. rotations anymore where you're trying to save guys and make sure they get rest and all that we're in the playoffs now all these games matter now so if you tired you you got a day off you got two days off to get you, you know get your rest but we we need guys to yeah. play but the problem with Jackson Hayes is not that he can't play 30 minutes. It's that when you play him extended minutes, he, he, he's, his propensity is – he gets into foul trouble a ton. He fouls a lot. So sometimes he takes himself off the court just by foul trouble in and of itself. I don't, so I don't think – I don't know that, if you've been that, watching Jackson Hayes recently, man. That hasn't been Jackson Hayes' MO. Okay. Maybe in the – maybe okay. earlier that, in that's the That's been season. his MO all year. Maybe earlier in the season has been his MO, but he hasn't been coming in and, and doing what you just said. As of late, okay. he has not been. But 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 you're not asking him to come in and guard Mo Bamba. You're asking him to come in and guard Nikola Jokic. Okay. You're not asking him to guard the Memphis Grizzlies center. Right. We know that. Or the or, or, or Valanciunas. This is Nikola Jokic. We understand that. So 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 his so his flaws will start to show if you say go guard Nikola Jokic. Something that he just remember, this is Cola Joker just gave Rudy Gobert 41, a 41 point triple double. That's the defensive player of the year, multiple times, which is bullshit. 
I mean, Rudy Gobert. I mean, we just we just, saw, we, we, just saw that, quote, we just saw a quote from Demarcus Cousins the other day. He said, "How the hell is Rudy okay. Gobert defensive player of the year, and he can't even stay on the floor in crunch time?" And I he, agree with that. Okay, well, then, Rudy Gobert. He's done it. Whatever. He. Well, how about this? Rich? AD is a better defensive player than Rudy Gobert. That's bullshit. And, and how about this? He's done the same thing to AD. One time. No, no. <laughs> go look at the numbers. He's barbecued AD multiple yeah. times. One time in the playoffs. And how did AD no, look no, no. against him in 2020? How did AD look? How did AD how, look? How the, how has you has Jokic been barbecuing AD as of late? Not in twenty twenty, as of the last two years. Bro, we we get it, right? The series the series between the Lakers and the Nuggets in the playoffs is one one right now. So let's not get off topic. Lakers so this is where I say Nuggets one one. So we so that's twenty twenty. We're not we're not going almost a half a decade ago. We're talking about the last two years. No, 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 maybe Where you're not. Maybe most you're recently, not, the Denver Nuggets is swept them. I'm definitely going to bring you know, that up. No, but you see, for, in 2020, it's a completely different team. I'm talking about the same formation. This team, this is the team that got swept by Denver last year. Right. So Yeah, one series. No, no player in the league has been able to stop Jokic. And what I'm saying is, I don't, I don't think – Jackson Hayes is the answer. I think he's part of the solution. But now you have to be wise in how you use him because he's really your only true backup. Jackson big. Hayes, all I'm saying is, man, is that Jackson Hayes is a much better matchup on Nikola Jokic than Rui Hachimura. That's all I'm saying. Am okay. I saying he's going to stop right. Nikola, Nikola Jokic? No. I'm just saying I like our chances better with Jackson Hayes. That's it. Okay. And I think most people would agree with that. I don't think that that's a controversial take. I think most people would agree with that. You're putting us. You're putting a small forward no. on a center. That's not. That's not but a good no. matchup for Rui. Put a guy who's seven feet, who can jump, who can, who can, you know, uh, uh, protect the rim, grab boards. That's that's more of his role. Okay. That's more. That 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 falls more in line with what he does on a basketball. I, I think our only gripe is. You want to start him, and I say you can't start him because you have no depth. That's the only difference we got. But we, we know Jackson Hayes is going to have to be an important player in the series. I just don't think you can start all, all these guys. That start, certain starting players isn't always the solution. It's how you deploy the players throughout the course of the game, which is the solution. Um, and, and getting him, him, he would be more meaningful late game as opposed to starting. Chat. Right? You would need Jackson Hayes. Chat, they, they, they trying to jump me, chat. What I tell y'all, here come here come Vin and Lamont, man. Now they, now they popping out, chat. What's going on, Vin? <laughs> What's going on? I resent that comment. I haven't been called in in a long time. I got they trying to jump, to chat. They Just trying to so jump. happen to catch Lamont. Oh my God, Ashley. Hello, Lamont. How are you? Hey, Reggie. What's going on? Long time. I don't know about all this jumping stuff, but you know, this is a place to create narratives, I guess, Reggie. Anyway, let me get in here and chime in. The, the, the task at hand is not to try to stop Jokic. Like, you delusional if you think you're going to stop him. No, what has to happen is, is you got to blow up that pick and roll and you got to mm. close out on the threes. This particular team has been specifically put together to play Denver. Let's not forget that. This is what was going on during the summer when we were all happy about the, the length that we have on the team. We specifically went after defensive-minded wings to stop guys like uh, Porter, to stop guys like Aaron Gordon. Everybody's so uh, Jokic-centric. You don't need to be Jokic-centric. Jokic is going to get his. We haven't beat them in eight games. R Reggie, you tout this all the time. We have not beat the chicken nuggets in the last eight games. So what you need to do is you got to focus on things that you can stop, like all the others. You're not going to stop Jamal Murray. You, we got four guards to throw at him now. Like, this is where we're going to see what Spencer Dinwiddie can do for us. Gabe Vincent, I 1,000% agree with you on that, Reggie, that that guy is a dog. And we've all been waiting for him to get healthy, and it seems like he's turned the corner. There's whispers that Vando will be back sometime during this series. That's another body that we can throw at him. And you know what else? I disagree with you. I think Rui Hachimura in spurts guarding Jokic is actually good. Not the whole game, but five minutes here, 
four or five possessions here because it gives him a different look. And if anyone studies the game as intently as me, and I'll give Lamont credit on is when, when Rui was in Washington, that's all he did was guard the bigs. He didn't even play the way that he plays now because we're all, all now seeing the multiple facets of his game. I didn't have any idea that he was an absolute wing player. I just thought he was a, uh, he was more of a guy that played post because Washington had him playing in the post. So if you can throw all these different looks at Jokic, it's going to have him guessing throughout the game. I, I don't think people are talking about the psychological part of the game enough about uh, how during, during this time, people are really afraid of LeBron is because of how he approaches the game psychologically. We all get in here and tout X's and O's. Oh, Robert. 30 years of my career! And y'all trying to kill me! I do mean everything you want to. Make your girl say, ooh, ooh. You lost it, man. Yo, man, let me, let me, let me let, in, they trying to jump chat. Let me let, let me, let me get some back up in here. Yo, what's going on, Anubis? <laughs> what up? I agree. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm good. I, I agree with you. you. I'm starting Jackson Hayes. Start tall. It's about matchups. Y'all don't understand. Every time we put anybody else on Jokic, he's shooting right over them. AD is 6'10". Jokic is 7 foot. He can easily shoot o shoot over AD. Jackson Hayes should start to de to de defend defend him. Period. Real talk. You got to go big. You can't go small, or we're gonna get ran out the building. We've seen this time and time again. Why keep doing the same thing over and over, and it's resulting in failure? Like you said, Reg, that's insanity. Why keep doing that? Anubis, Anubis, and, and thank you, man. Right? Thank thank you for being the voice of reason because these guys would have a point. If us going small resulted in us getting a couple of wins against the Chicken Nuggets this year, then I'd sit back and say, okay, I, I'd go back and analyze the game. I'd say, okay, well, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe we're on to something with this small ball bullshit. We've lost eight straight times doing the same shit. No, you, you did go big in that last game <laughs> in the fourth quarter to try to stop it. You, you guys, you, you literally went big in the fourth. You went too low. The the guys that to you start the game. No, but what I'm saying is most of the games that Cam you lost to Denver, four most of these most of these last eight games that you lost to Denver, you've lost them in the fourth. You haven't lost them in the first, second, the third. They've been kind of you pretty much played Denver even for one for the for, for three quarters. You get barbecued in the fourth by Jamal Murray. He had that big twenty three point fourth quarter in the playoffs against you guys last year. You've been losing to Denver in the fourth, even at the start of the year, first game of the year. You lost it in the fourth. So uh, that's and what I'm saying. Is the Lakers need to really ball. focus on closing the game because what they you struggle to close games against Denver, and you cannot defend them in the fourth for some reason in that pick and roll. So now, how do you balance putting enough but defense you, out there? Because really, Jamal, Jamal, it hasn't been Yoki killing you guys in the fourth. It's been Jamal Murray. So you need to figure out how do we contain Murray in the fourth because as good as Yoki has been, we they played Denver pretty much even one through three quarters, even in the last eight losses. So look at who's been killing you and contain that. And it's been Murray who's been a Laker killer, not really as much as Jokic has been. Jokic's been good. Lamont. Just like Ben has said, you're not Lamont. stopping that. Lamont, we were down in game yeah. one yeah. in the first quarter to the Chicken Nuggets last year in the Western Conference Finals by 16 in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. So this notion – Were you down at halftime? We're losing were you down games at half is not – no – we're, when what you were you down, down at halftime? When when you hold on, when you See? go down that much, right? What you're doing the rest of the way is you're playing catch up. So you're telling me us being down six? Were you down at halftime? Ron has to, to bring them up? back once again.
What what do you say, Anubis? LeBron has to continue to bring them back. He can't keep doing that. Exactly. LeBron, man. He's 39. LeBron, LeBron, could, LeBron couldn't bring you guys back from games last year because he was shooting 20% per three, and they weren't honoring him as much. He was struggling offensively himself. His points per games were down. LeBron so as much as you would rely on that's why I said so, LeBron, so many things were going wrong for, for the Lakers that he couldn't – LeBron couldn't be LeBron because he wasn't even shooting the same. He was shooting an extremely poor percentage. So it wasn't LeBron bringing anybody back. You guys were getting barbecued in the fourth. As, as much as you want to highlight one game, if you use all eight games, you played Denver pretty much even for three quarters. If you look at all the games, and it's been Jamal Murray who's barbecued you in the fourth, not Nikola Jokic. He's it's been Murray. He's been the Laker killer in the fourth. That that's where you want to focus on. How do we contain them in the fourth? Because they turn into gods in the fourth quarter against the Lakers for whatever reason. Listen, man, when you're going down by no, sixteen the, points, the focus it, is starting off on it. I agree with you. I agree with you, Greg. The, the focus is starting off not trailing by twelve, bro. That's a bad start. Denver capitalizes on that. You can't do that with them. You can't be back. You can't be down by twelve in the first quarter. That's not going to work. Six Anubis, ten minutes in the game and we're already down sixteen. And niggas is telling me that 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 the starting lineup don't matter. Right. Like stop it, man. I mean that's just that's just dumb. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, I'm I'm not saying the starting lineup doesn't matter. But what I'm saying is when you look at how the Lakers have lost these games. They lost them in the fourth. That's all I'm saying. And I know getting off to a, a bad start isn't good, but even with those bad starts, they still pretty much played Denver even for three quarters. They've been getting severely outperformed in the fourth. If you look at all of their last losses to the late, to, to the um, Nuggets, it's it's one quarter that stands out like a sore thumb. It's been the fourth. We got, we got Eric James in the chat. He said, if you're playing catch-up, um... That means you have to blitz the other team to get the lead. This gets your legs weak for the fourth quarter. That's why they beat us in the fourth. That's a good point. That's why we're running out of gas in the fourth quarter because we're having to come back from 16 points down throughout the course of the game. That's why guys are tied. That's why LeBron no, was Rich. gassed. No, it's not true. You guys were running. What happened was happening last year was, remember, when you get a big lead like the Lakers had at halftime in game four, you can't sustain that lead when two of your three top offensive players are having their worst offensive series. Brian, as far as shooting a three, and D'Lo, as far as scoring the ball. So you're never going to be able to sustain if you can't score. That's why they gave up that 36 points in the third. The Lakers only scored 16, and they couldn't even do nothing in the fourth. They played them even in that fourth quarter, actually, because it wasn't enough to win the game because they lost that third by 20 points. So that's why I say I think if Brian and AD just – play closer to just what they do on average, this series can be potentially be a wash for the Lakers because you don't have two crazy anomalies going on on the Lakers side. Like I said, it's going to take more than LeBron and AD getting the numbers, man. Right? Listen, 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 listen. Well, that's exactly what I just said. This, this, this is what I'm saying. All right. Once again, I'm going to say this again. And I and I and I and I, I would think most people that's listening to the show would, would would think that I'm being fair, right? Because I I try to be fair when I, with the things I say. So once again, Lamont, you would have a point if what we've been doing has resulted in us getting a win or two over the course of the last eight games we've played the Nuggets. Nothing has worked. So all we're saying is is to try to do something different that we feel gives us a better opportunity and a better chance to win. Now, if you want to continue to do the same stupid shit, then go ahead. We'll be right here. We're all going to watch the game, and we'll probably get beat. All we're saying is is that we have a chance to win, just like we did last year. But if you're going to continue to do the same thing that you've been doing the last eight straight games, then we don't stand a chance. And I think that that's a fair assessment. So you can say what you want, man, but whatever you're saying, uh, you know what? it's not working. There needs to be some sort of change. You're a coach. If if you lose eight in a row, I just don't right? think you like, change like in the playoffs. You're gonna you're gonna. For, let me ask you Rams. as a coach: If you Rams. lose eight games in a row, are you not gonna change some things? 
okay, losing eight games in a row. And, and so that's completely two different things because it's not like they've actually lost eight games in a row. They've lost eight, eight times to the Denver to the Nuggets. Same team. Are you going to continue? No, no Reds. No Reds. There's so many different because there's so many different vari variables and factors that have played in because these losses that you're talking about span from last season where some of the rotation was different this season where they lost one game when Dilo didn't play. Um, so so many variables. Now we're looking at this variable right now. What do you have in front of you right now? When you see the variable that you have in front of you right now. What did the Lakers have versus what Denver has? Well, now I'm looking at it and I'm saying, based on what I saw last year, all the Lakers have to do is LeBron and D'Lo don't be historically bad with regards to what they do best. Just play to your averages like you've been saying all year. That includes LeBron, and they win these games. And, and just be, find a way to defend better in the fourth, which is why they got Gabe Vincent and Spencer Dinwiddie. But you don't go overhaul things for the playoffs, especially when you don't got the personnel to do it with. Yo, Vin. I don't know what's going on with his phone, man. Yo, who is this, man? Hey, this is this is 444. How you doing, panel? How you doing, Reg? What's going on? Um, I wanted to – everything's good. I want to um, just um, say something towards Lamont. Um, um, basically, you know, what I'm, what I'm viewing what Reg is saying, though, is it's like this. When you're, when you're doing the same thing and it doesn't work, as a coach, don't you have to implement some adjustments? So I look at other teams and I look how coaches – sometimes implement these little subtle adjustments that actually change the outcome or at least gives the opposite team a different look. For instance, when I saw that New York and that um, that Bulls game, Jalen Brunson was was killing them. Well, I saw the coach make a do a different defensive scheme and it, 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 it totally um, changed somewhat of the dynamic. Right. Um, even the Pelicans versus the, the, the Lakers, you know, they, they their big lineup, the Lakers was killing them. They went small ball for whatever reason. They had better, they had a better um, effect, um, better results, you know, with Alvarado doing what he's doing. So um, I, I agree with Reg in the sense that we have to, this it's going to come down to coaching and effort. And and this Darvin Ham has his work cut out for him, and he is going to have to realize that it is a game of chess. So um, doing the same thing over and it doesn't work, it we're, we're, we're doomed. So he has to be able to implement some type of adjustment in this particular game because Denver will be making adjustments. You know what I mean? So um, I just want to kind of put that out there. And, and listen, Lamont, if you got anything you want to say to him. Hold on, but, but, hold on, but you just said something. Lamont, yeah. Lamont, I'm gonna just let you respond to him, and then I, I got, I, we got, a, we got a lot of people calling him, and I gotta just go ahead and move on. Yeah, yeah, I get up. I know my thing is when you talk about making adjustments. The last time I checked, they made the adjustments. They went and got one of the best pick and roll defenders in Gabe Vincent that they could afford. They went and signed Spencer Dinwiddie, a much better defender, because they see that they were getting destroyed in the pick and roll. So they went and got better pick and roll defenders. So the adjustments are on this team now. So the adjustments is actually playing the guys that can combat was what Denver does best, which is the pick and roll. They I have that. I have one so question. For, I have one question for Lamont before we go. So Lamont, so real quick, so so do you are you saying this in the starting lineup, game one, do you think Jackson Hayes should be in that lineup? No, no, what I'm saying is I don't I've never gotten caught up in starting lineups. It's the it's the five guys that finish the game that matter the most. And I believe that Jackson Hayes, more importantly, needs to be in the last five guys that finish the game. Gabe Vincent needs to be in that lineup with the last five guys that finish the game. As long as that's happening, they beat Denver, I believe. But if you're sitting out there so putting Reeves, D'Lo, and those guys out there in the fourth against the Denver Nuggets, then you'll have the same results. You need to – the closing lineup is where you win games in the playoffs, not necessarily starting lineup. So 
So, so you, so you don't believe you don't believe in starting the game off with your best foot forward with 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 as much if, um, power no, and 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 just, huh? if if you if your roster affords it, if you have the depth to do that, of course, go do that. This Laker team does not have the depth to go toy around with guys in the first. You need to go with your guys. Go with your guys that you win, 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 and win and having success with. But in the fourth, then you deploy the weapons that you brought in to stop Denver. Make sure Jackson Hayes isn't caught up in foul trouble. Make sure he's a fresh body in the fourth. Make sure Gabe Vincent, whatever minutes restriction he's on, if he's still on one, make sure those minutes are most available to use in the fourth so he can guard that pick and roll with, with Denver. So they have the tools. It's just about how you deploy the tools and then just throwing all your tools in the start lineup ain't the solution. You got to be smart with how you deploy them because they don't have much in the toolbox. All right. All right, Lamont. I, we got to just go ahead and move on, man. All right, y'all. All right, Lamont. Listen, 444, man. Okay, guys. I'm out. All right, man. Yeah, I'm here. I'm out. Now I was going to say, you got you got any final thoughts, man? Okay. He just hung up. Yo, Vin, I, 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 I told you in the chat, man. I don't know if you saw the message, but, you know, yeah, I'm only letting two on at a time, man. Um, anything more than that, it, it starts to lag. And and like I said, I'm really not trying to have a whole panel anyway. Um, but like I said, the link is in the chat, man. I got Lamont um, up out of here. So, you know, if you dudes want to call in, man, um, you know, the link is in the chat, man. There will be no jumping, though. There will be no jumping. Um. Now, chat, I told you what these dudes, do. I told you what they was going to do, right? What did I tell y'all, chat? You know what I mean? Just five days ago, 10 seed. I mean, it was, it was, it was quiet in here, man. You know what I mean? It was quiet. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ. Bring in my good friend, man. How you doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about Scam. I know what you got up, a lot man. That's his name, Dormy Scam. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to tell you. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. Tell me, bro. As a Laker, you guys gotta stop thinking of mediocre. She likes it my this, way. That dude, now y'all got on one channel. They say the the players are trash on his one channel. Mm-hmm. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. She likes it my he said all the players are trash. Yo, you, you Vin, what's going on, man? Yeah. Listen, the last time I called in, you said this about me. I I, I haven't called in in almost a month. So what do you mean I'm going to jump you? The last conversation <laughs> that you and I had, you, had, I'm just, you I'm even just, had to come it, in and it, be it, like, it, man, it, you know what, you do it. It's just jokes, man, but but nah, man. Like I said, it is funny to me, though. You know what I mean? It is funny. Uh, but nah, go ahead, man. What's funny? I'm, it's funny. Uh, all right, I'm you need to explain it's, it's, it's to it's me. It's funny because, like I said, you know, when when we were the 10th seed, just a, you know, just four or five days ago, it was quiet. Now, it's just funny to me. Everybody's trying to chime in. Everybody's trying to blow their phones down. But like I said, it's it's, it's all good, man. Go ahead. Okay, so the type of work that I do, I can't always call in, Reg. You know what I do. And some of my clients, they not interested in me being on the phone. So the yeah, type yeah. of work that I do, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not just talking about you, though, Vin. You're not the only one. I'm so confused when I finally do call and try to pay homage that I'm getting barraged or getting barraded with, with the masses. I'm not them. I'm me. I've always been... Uh, contributed to the show, at least I think. I don't know because I don't call in enough. I guess, uh, you know, my points are becoming mook at some point. I don't know what to do, but I don't think that's fair. No, no, no. I, I, what I, I think I can't is, understand what, it. What, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think, you know, I, I, I just think it's funny. That's all I'm saying, Vin. I just think it's funny when we're winning, right? Everybody comes out the woodwork, you know what I mean. But when we're when we're losing, it's it's not really the same. But that's all I'm saying. Well, man. I've been I've been to every single show. I used to talk all the time, but this is just a busy season. 
been at every single show. I haven't missed a show. So because you don't hear me doesn't mean that I'm not intentionally listening. So this is the time that I actually don't have any time. And I'm like, let me contribute to the show. But for some ornate reason, you keep grouping me in with, with other guys. And I think all I've been is a staunch supporter. So I, I really don't understand what's even funny. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't know. I was the guy saying that we was gonna be we was gonna be seeking the sixth seat. I was the guy that was saying we're gonna get the seventh seat. I wasn't I wasn't ever saying we was gonna be in the tenth. That was you saying that. That was you coming in beefing about man, we the tenth seat. We suck. I've always been the optimist. And now that we're doing the things right, I thought I could come in here and tout that. But apparently it's funny. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't know. The love that that I think I used to have because I'm not as engaging is no longer there. And I can respect that, but I, I was just trying to get in here and make some strong points and try to give some time. So I don't know. I don't know. So there? what do you what do you got, man? <laughs> What do you, what do you got, Vin? He's talking about you right now, the locker room. He said all the players are trash. I do any and everything you want to. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Yo, what, what, what happened? What happened to you, Vin? What, what what was that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what was that, man? Chat, they trying to they 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 trying to jump, man. <laughs> That's all I said, chat, was that they was trying to jump. We ain't see we 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 ain't seen these dudes, chat. That's all I'm saying. We ain't seen them. That's all I'm saying. We haven't seen you. That's all I'm saying. What's the problem? We're here. We're here every night, man. We're here every day. We're here every day. We're here every night. We just haven't seen you guys, man. What What did I tell you, Chad? What, what, did this, I told y'all. I know the playbook. I know what they're gonna do. He just did it. This is what they're gonna do. When we lose, they're gonna disappear. They're not gonna call in. They're gonna conveniently go missing. When we win, they're gonna call in, just like Lamont and Vin. Y'all heard? Y'all just heard it. Oh, well, you said this, and you said that, and you said we was going to be this, and you said we was going to be that, and I, I said we was going to be this. Well, what about last year? <laughs> what about last year? When I said we were going to win and we lost. What about that? See, I can't win with these dudes, man. <laughs> I can't win. Yo. Yo, who is this? You can hear me? Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, hey, like, what do you think the Lakers is going to do for the rest of the season, bro? Like, what, what is what, 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 do, do, what do you think that, like, that your projections you are? To... Championship. I mean, are you fucking delusional? Are you delusional, bro? Like, let's be real. A championship? Free are smoke, you... free smoke, hey. Free smoke, free smoke, hey. <laughs> did, I, did I stutter? Do you need me to repeat? Do you need me to repeat myself? 
Bro, your second fucking best player on the team can't even stay motherfucking healthy, bro. And he's coming back. So, chat, that, that, that was last year. <laughs> this was pre-trade deadline, right? Before, before these guys even found the channel, this is what I was saying about the Lakers. And we lost. Now, this year, not as optimistic, and, and, and now it's a problem. So it's a problem either way. Oh, but, but you said three weeks ago that, uh you know, we were trash. Yeah, I, I say a lot of things, man. <laughs> I say a lot of things. Do, do I need a, do I need a chat? I must need a, I must need a disclaimer on the show. Thoughts and opinions are subject to change. I'm a, I, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to get a disclaimer, chat. I'm going to put a disclaimer on the show. I'm, I'm going to put a disclaimer on the show. Thoughts and opinions are subject to change. I say a lot of things, man. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. Yo, Mike, what's going on, man? Blessing to you, Reg, as normal. Appreciate you, man. What's, what's going on? Okay, so, well, first of all, let me let me say this. There's three things that you have been doing this for the last six weeks of this season. And it's the first thing is called consistency. And let me explain briefly what that what the type of consistency you've been providing. When we have been playing like shit, excuse the French, you have been on the players, i.e. the girl, Hillbilly Kobe, and whoever has been playing like crap. AD, it doesn't matter. What you are doing, that's the second thing you've been doing, is trying to motivate, and again, the word is motivation, of the players. So, so I'm assuming that some of these players be listening to your to your podcast. I, I can guarantee you they do. Because every time you are coming down on these players, all of a sudden, the shooting gets better, the defense gets better, on and on and on. And the third and final thing is the thing that you just talked about with these uh, cronies that be calling in here. Uh, <laughs> all of them need to go to the shed. And, I, I, and, I, and I'm being honest because you don't call in and read this channel. You don't call Reggie's channel when you feel like, okay, we win it now. Let's talk shit about LeBron and AD and the team. Let's talk shit about Darwin scam and all this. No, no. The first thing I pointed out was consistency. If you're going to call into the channel, be consistent and call into the channel. Don't all of a sudden call into the channel because now we have, uh, uh, we've moved on to a consistent winning philosophy. Darwin scam got his head out his ass and the players are starting to wake up. And I, I to me, the play, uh, the the show date you had the other day, uh, the guy that called in and said he got the Lakers in uh, uh six. I got the Lakers in six for the, against the Nuggets. In fact, I got the Lakers going to the finals. So if you're a true Laker fan, you shouldn't be calling in talking negative on Reggie's channel at all. Period. Especially what Reggie is trying to preach every day he gets on this on this call. That's all I got, Reg, but kudos to you, kudos to the chat, those who are true Laker fans, and go Lakers. All right, Mike. Appreciate you, Mike. Um, Oh my god. Vin, you said been here every show, show love every show, no beef. Uh You say can't have your own point unless you agree. What is this channel turning into? Robert. Ooh, 
Vin, we I I asked you, man, what do you, what do you got, right? You 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 didn't you didn't say anything, and then you hung up, okay? Come on, Vin. We I I I I I asked you what you said, Vin. All right. I I asked you your thoughts. You 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 went on a diatribe about, you know, what I said, man. I mean, we 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 told you to just go, right? Just say just say what you just say what you got to say. Now I don't know if Lamont, you know, if Lamont got off the panel. You you didn't want to be on anymore. I I don't know, but I I told you, Vin, there will there will be no jumping. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vin. There will be no jumping, man. Um, I don't got Ben anymore, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all. We ain't doing no jumping, chat. <laughs> Yo, top fly high. What's going on, man? Hey, what happened, to Vin? You ran Vin away, man. Man, Vin. <laughs> I I asked him. I I said, Yo, what what are your what what are your thoughts? He just hung up. I, I don't yeah, know, man. He, I don't he's been having problems with his phone. So how you how you doing though, man? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. What's going on? Yeah, you, I heard Lamont say that you know you don't want to do an overhaul. I heard somebody also say that um, that we built the team, you know, for Denver. You know, I think Lamont said that too. But we didn't address the big man issue. See, but this is this is this this is just my thing with about Jackson Hayes, and I think that I saw some, you know, um, a few folks in the comments saying that that you know that's a, a idiot move or calling folks an idiot for even thinking that way. We're not saying that he has to play the whole game, but at least just try to go big. Why are people just, you know, why are they so against going big? I don't get that. I would throw LeBron at the point. I would probably have D'Lo or Austin Reeves at the two. I would have Rui at the three. I would have AD at the four. And I will have Jackson Hayes as the five, just to try it. How can I, I, what's wrong with that? Not to say that we might not revert back to what we were doing before, but why not just try that big lineup? Well, LeBron, top of height, top of height. This is why. This is why. Like I said, I'm, I'm not. I'm not interested in bringing Lamont back because the takes they 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 just don't make any sense. Right. You know, like I, I, he would have a point. Like I told him when he was on the show, I said you would have a point if, let's say, we played Denver. How many times? Three, four times a season. Okay, let's say we beat, we had a winning record against Denver in the regular season, and it, and it just so happened we got swept in the in the playoffs last year. Okay, then it's right. a different story. Then I would be a little bit more open minded to kind of doing how doing things how we've been doing it. But when you lost eight consecutive times. And then you come on the show and say, oh, well, I don't think any adjustment needs to be made. Uh, LeBron, he was shooting 29, 26%, and, and this year he's shooting 40. I mean, that's like that's a difference of like one, one and a half, two three-pointers a game. I don't think LeBron making an extra three or two is going to – is like that's not the adjustment to me that's going to be the deciding factor on who wins this series or not. Well, and the other thing, too, you got to factor in. I mean, you can't talk about LeBron – performance mean because it's, it's, he, he he had that busted foot that foot was bad and we all see it we all saw him hurt that foot so he wasn't healthy but he's healthy this year you understand what i'm saying but i'm just saying to i see my man in there saying that he just can't i i, I, I thought i saw it in the chat this uh this my my man original still saying that jackson hayes is not is not the white howard who don't know that they two different people but we're talking about defensive scheme here you see, this is the thing that I don't understand when, you know, when I coach and I, and I got a, a certain player that has a certain talent, I ask him to do certain things on the court for me. That's what they need to ask him to do. Just get out there and get in Joker's way and let Anthony Davis kind of play the, the, the defense that's that, that he is 100% bona fide to play on the help side. We don't need AD banging with the Joker because now y'all want AD to bang with the Joker. And now you want, and then you want him to score twenty. And, then when he and, have a number like um, uh, maybe fifteen points, you're gonna be talking about, oh, AD got to do better on the but on the on the on the offensive side when you got him busting his ass on the defensive side. And 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 top of the high. Let me let me let me say this too, right? The reason, once again, back to Lamont, like 
we all know Lamont, Lamont runs a debate platform. So he, he comes on the show and he wants to make everything into a debate. Like yeah. some things, Top Fly High, if you want to debate uh, Jordan right. and LeBron, Top Fly High, that, that's, that's a, okay, we can debate that. But there, just, right. there are certain things that are just objectively true. Like it, everything is not up for a debate. Me and you, we've we've disagreed on certain things, but we've right. agreed on a, s- certain things too. You're not just calling in every show trying to find something every single call to disagree with. Some things right. we can all just kind of come to an agreement with when it comes to this team. But when you right. have guys that are just always tr- like, and here's another thing that I don't I don't like, right? So when, when when we bring up the Jackson Hayes point, you know what he immediately does? Listen to the, listen to him when he calls in. You, we bring up the Jackson Hayes point. He immediately gives you a reason why it won't work. Work. Oh, right. well, if you bring in Jackson Hayes, then you won't have any depth coming off the bench. Bro, this is – y'all got to pay attention to this stuff. Right. You, you, you can't so – bro, my, we, my we, can't have, that, though, we can't have constructive conversations if right. people throw out, idea in a, throw out an idea and the first thing you try to do is to come up with every reason down. why it won't work. Then right. I'll ask you if you're being – if you're really being fair, give us a reason why it could work. Then they get quiet. Right. Come on, man. We gotta question. stop this, man. Like everything right. is just everything is not a debate. Every right. single we, topic and thing we talk about, it's not a debate. Some things most of us just objectively agree on. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I just look at and even, even still last year, when you got a, when you have a blueprint as to how what Frank Vogel did to uh, slow Yogesh down by having the White Howard and having uh, McGee in there. And then you you inquire Chris, Tristan Thompson, who is a, and I'm not even saying that Tristan Thompson was, um, would have, we, we might've still lost. But I just think had you put him in there alongside AD, we would have saw a difference because that's the strategy. You put, you put, you put a big in there alongside AD and it'll, it'll, it'll confuse, it'll not confuse him, but it'll at least slow the joker down. Exactly, and I don't and, and, but you got and, you want to take your superstar and AD and let him and let him just be bullied around, take that beat down on the decent defensive side of the ball when you can have. I just don't even get it. And Rui's not the answer. He's too small. He's too small to be doing that. Not to say that we can't, as at some point in the game, kind of use that. But I just, I'm just, I'm just like you when I'm thinking that when you when you make a suggestion about something. And then the first thing you, when you make your suggestion, everybody just bat it right down, like they don't, even, they don't even want to try it. And Which, I'm just saying and that, that. And, and that's why I'm saying it's hard to have constructive conversations when you right. you say something. And and me and you even talk about it. you. You kind of opened my mind one time when you, when we was talking about uh, the '90s and like the physicality of it and how the the regular season mattered and how guys took it seriously. Right. right, and I I went back and listened to the show, or I might have just thought about it when we was on the show, and I was like, okay, let you he, he he might be right about that. Let me let me really think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, we when you have a conversation, they're just listening to hurry up and reply. They're not really right. listening to what you're saying. Right, and I feel like that's what a lot of these dudes is doing. They're not they're not they're not even trying to understand where we're coming from. They just always have a quick response with some bullshit that's like, come on, man. You, I mean, what are we talking about, man? Right. You got, you got a two time MVP and you put a, you put a six, eight small forward on him, And you had Tristan Thompson who had won a championship with LeBron in, in Cleveland. Right. You don't play him. You wait till game four to play him. We're not saying that the Lakers uh, uh, win the series. If you gave Tristan Thompson more minutes, but we're saying that we're not a four. We're not getting four Oh swept. But, At least right. it would have been a competitive maybe six or seven games, and then you let the chips fall where they may. Right. Well, right. I, I I just I, I don't get it. I just I just listen. I mean, it's just like it's just some it's something wrong about us saying because we've been saying this since last year that the Lakers need another big. And and and, and thank Lakers. you. And you've been here. This is what I'm saying. Right. You've been you was here. When we started uh, uh, two years ago, almost you right. in here, you could tell them top fly high. This has been right. a consistent take. This has not been something we've flip flopped on every other. No, we've been consistent right. about was, this for two years, man. Yeah. It was we was talking. We was talking to Vin. Vin was on the line. We, was, we had, I don't know what we had just played Minnesota, and they was beating. Uh, no, it was um, no, it was um, it was um, the Grizzlies. 
this is before John got into the trouble, but they had them big man, the big boys that they got over there were just running and and I think it was the center that came off the bench. But it's but but again it was just two two bigs out there. And they was beating A D from side to side. And it's like why won't you put some help out there? I think Mo Bamba was hurt though. And I can't remember who else we had on the bench, but it's like it's clear it's just it's just if the Lakers want to be successful after LeBron James um, retires with Anthony Davis um, being the front runner, they're going to have to get him a center. It's like, why, why is that so hard for people to understand? You know, it's the same thing, like I say, it would be if Doc Rivers had to come in and told Giannis, you know, hey, look, you're going to play the five. Or, or if Popovich had to told Tim Duncan, look, we gonna play small. You you gonna play five? They didn't do those to the, to them superstars, and that's why they're Hall of Famers. But I just don't understand what people see when they and like I say, a lot of people ain't played that big man position. You understand what I'm saying? To to know what it takes to play that big man. You know, you put um, Anthony Davis up against Embiid. Embiid is a, it's a, him and Jokic to go back and forth because they they both been playing the center position. I just, I just don't understand it. But I'm just saying, I, what I'm saying to you, I know my strategy. I know my strategy. If had the Lakers got that boy, and I still say that from the Pacers, that boy Miles Turner, the Lakers wouldn't be looking back right now because they would have, they'd have had the shooting in Buddy Hill, and we would have been contending, and we damn sure probably would have won that thing last year with them two pieces, with the healthy LeBron and the healthy AD. You know, but I just don't get it, Reg. I just, I just, I just sit back, man, and listen to folks that just, that just, just so close minded when it comes to just doing other things, especially when you got the blueprint with the way folk Frank Vogel did it. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is, my brother. But I'm just gonna sit back. I'm taking Lakers and six, though. You know, I think, I think that if we can get one of these, um, but the first game is gonna be the game that that. That's gonna tell t- tell everything. How we come out, he straight out that he straight out that D Lo and Austin Reeves thing. You know, I'm just gonna cross my fingers and sit on the edge of the couch, man. You know, but um <laughs> because because that that uh that Austin Reeves and D Lo thing, man, it's just um you know, I heard you talking to someone when you asked them when you kind of just the matchup wise, when you when you said Murray and uh Caldwell Pope and and D'Lo and Austin Reeves, and my man was like, uh, my man was like, um, he would take Austin Reeves over uh, Caldwell Pope, somebody that's proven and won two championships, played a, a big part in what Denver did last year. You know what I mean? It's just like, seriously? And Caldwell Pope <laughs> is, a, is an excellent defender. Top of high, you, you see what I'm dealing with, right? Right. You see what I'm dealing um, with, right? Like, come on, man! This stuff is getting ridiculous, man. As yeah. I told you, we we we're doing a free agency show ourselves, top fly high. Like, we're, right. we we got some players, man. I'm not bringing these dudes back, man. This is get this this stuff is some of this stuff is like genuinely ridiculous, man. You right? Know what I mean, it's, it's like, come on, like like you said, are like what are, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Like, what like, are we on. even talking about? Right. He said Austin I mean, Reeves we- is better than KCP. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah. Austin Reeves ain't starting on nobody else's team, man. You know, what did, what did, uh, who was that? Who was that? Who was that to say? What that you said that Russell Westbrook said that about, uh, um, about, um, Pat, Pat Bear. Bear. Yeah. Well, that's what they, that's what they're saying. But that's what they're saying about the, about Austin Reeves. He's fooling them. And exactly. I ain't saying that Austin Reeves, I ain't, I ain't saying that Austin, I, like I told, like I said to you, I want to keep Austin Reeves. That's not like I want, I want to get rid of Austin Reeves because I, I, I would love that energy coming off the bench. But I think at some point, one of them, either either Spencer Dinwiddie or either that boy, um, I think it's going to be probably Vince, but one of them guys, they're going to start, you know, to finish out some of these series. You watch. I don't know whether it's going gonna, it's gonna to be D-Lo bench or whether it's going to be Austin Reeves uh, going to the bench. But I think at some point, um, you know, because I think that that was the plan anyway, bringing that boy in from Miami, that they, but he just got hurt. So he wasn't really, be able, he wasn't able to put a stamp because, He's just a better. He's just a better defender, and he can knock his three ball down. So we'll see. You know what I mean. But anyway, man, like I say, you know, it's it's it's, a, it's grub time for me. Um, I'll get up with you, man. But like I say, if I you know, I catch the shows when I can catch it. But my man, what, Mike, what's on, I love what's, on, what's on the menu tonight? Top of the high. 
Me, oh yeah, you know, you know, I, I ain't nothing with me. I'm, I'm a salad man. You know, I, I don't, you know, I stopped eating meat like 15 years ago. So all I do really is a salad. So it just was some, some, some salad and a glass of wine. I'd be good. You know what I mean? You get up in age, you know what I mean? You got to change your diet and watch how you eat. Plenty of H2O and plenty of vegetables and fruit, man. You know what I mean? But um, that's all I'm doing. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I get up with you, man. Sounds good. You know what I mean? Like I say, go Lakers, man. All right, Top Flight High. Good call, man. Appreciate you, man. I'll right, talk to you. All right. all right, bro. Yeah, man. Shout out to Top Flight High, man. Um, we're, we're, we're Top Flight High, he's been here. He's This is, he, this is his second season, chat, here at the locker room, man. We're, we're, we, top Fly High is the vet. We're bringing Top Fly High back, man, next year. You know what I mean? We're definitely going to bring Top Fly High back, man. Um, you know, some of you dudes, man, I mean, you know, like I said, we're, we're just going to have to move in a different direction, man. Um, but listen, you know, it's, it's, it's just a business at the end of the day. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, you guys don't get in your feelings about it. I, I do know, though, that – you know, some of you guys are going to start to become emotional about these things. Um, you know, it's it's hard to just keep it strictly professional, um, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, people. Right. Because um, emotions do get involved. Feelings do get involved. But uh, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we, we must remember that this is a business. OK. Um, you know, there's no crying in sports. OK. So, like I said, if you get traded off the team. Um, you know, this summer, listen, man, um, you know, whatever channel we send you to, if you perform well over there, like I said, you know, we're always watching, right? We're always watching. So if you guys go to another channel and you start performing over there, we, we might bring you back. You know, we've had guys that we've had to get rid of and they went to other channels, ladies and gentlemen, and they actually started performing extremely well. And we, we ended up bringing them back, man. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ. Bring in my good friend, man. How you doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about Scam. I know what you got up, a lot. Man? That's his name, Dormant Scam. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to yeah. tell you. I'm going to be honest with you, Dan. So me, As a Laker, you guys got to stop thinking of mediocre. She that dude, now y'all the guy on one channel, they say that. The player of the trash on his one channel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. <laughs> Chat MJ MJ was just MJ was just too good. Chat we 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 had to we had to bring uh, uh, MJ back, man. You know, and now MJ's back on the team, man. Um, so like I said, you know, some of you dudes, man, um, you know, we, we're like I said, we're, we're, we're moving in a different direction, but we're rooting for you dudes, man. Hopefully you dudes can get it together. You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for P.J. Tucker. <laughs> yeah, man, July 1st, chat can't come soon enough, man. Free agency can't come soon enough, chat. It's going to be a good summer, man. Chat, we got the Olympics this summer. It's going to be a good summer, man. We, we, we got a lot of good content, man. On the way, man. A lot of good content, man. Um, man. You dudes can't, like I said, bro, I'm not running a daycare, man. You dudes can't come over here crying, man. Um, he said Lamont got his own channel. Yeah, we know. Why don't you go over there? <laughs> Why don't you go over there? Oh, man, we got Eric James, man. Shout out to Eric James, man. Came through with, what is it, man, the, the $10 Super Chat. Shout out to Eric James, man. It's the ones that smoke blunts with you. See your picture. Now they want to grab the He's talking about you right now. You. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew. What you gonna do when Big Papa come for you? He said, uh... He said Ham needs to start Hayes against Jokic and have AD as secondary cleanup. 
Exactly, man. Like I said, most of us that, you know, use our brain, right? I, I think most people would agree with that. And I think if you're disagreeing with that, then, you know, you're just you're just trying to play a contrarian role here at the locker room. Um, and And like I said, you know, at times, can it be funny? Can it be entertaining? Yes. But after a while, it, it, it starts to become annoying for me. Um, and that's where I'm at with it now. You know, I've been dealing with people playing contrarian and trolling the show all season. And I'm at a point now where I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. Right. I'm over it now. Um, you know, now niggas is talking about, oh, well, if you if you don't if we don't agree, then bro, nobody said you can't agree. No, you, you, no, no nobody said you have to agree. Nobody said you, you, you have to agree. You, you, you can most certainly disagree. We, we welcome the disagreements, but, you know, some of you dudes, man, I mean, it's just, it's it's draining. <laughs> it's draining, chat. Right? I mean, we, we, we've been doing this now since, since, since the summer, man. Having these kinds of conversations, bro, it, it's, it's over. Oh, kill me with this shit. Eric James said, who else would they start then? I think they would just continue to do what we've what we've been doing with, with you know, starting who we've been starting. But that's not working right like they would have a point and I, and I would be more like I told Lamont I would be more open to what he was saying if we had beaten Denver this season if we would have had a winning record against Denver using the same lineup as we did last year in the playoffs I would say okay maybe last year you know think that things just didn't go our way let's run it back Bro, we've lost eight straight times, and niggas are calling into the show talking about, oh, well, I don't think, I don't think there needs to be much change. I just think, you know, LeBron, he was shooting 26% this year. I think, um, you know, he's not going to shoot that bad, and I think that D'Lo's not going to play as bad as he did last year. Okay. Let's just go ahead and wrap this up, man. Like I said, chat. How many more days we got to July 1st, man? <laughs> How many more days we got, chat? I'm bored. July 1st can't. Okay, we got what? One month. No, we got we got two weeks till the first. Yeah, we, we, we a month and a half out, chat. We got literally a month and a half to the day. Jesus Christ, man. Some of you dudes are, are getting ridiculous, man. Now, now we got Vin on the show. Now, now Vin's crying. Like, come on, man. I'm, I'm tired at this point, man. I'm tired, right? Now, now they popping out, chat. What I tell y'all? I, I, I told y'all. This is how they do. Watch we get smoked. <laughs> let us let us get smoked game one. It's gonna it's gonna be quiet in this hole. It's gonna be quiet, man. Lamont, he gonna he gonna be coaching the game. That's that's where Lamont gonna be. He's gonna be coaching the game at, at 2 30 in the morning. He's gonna be coaching. Oh man, my team was we're at, we're at nationals, man. I was I was coaching. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Vin gonna be tattooing, Chad. He, he can't he can't call in. He's gonna be tattooing. I'm, he's busy. All right, man. Come on, man. But 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 you said that we was gonna be trapped. You said that we was the tent. But 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 Reg, but Reg, you you, you said that y'all was gonna get smoked. Now now why do you say y'all gonna win and sick? What 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 what's going on, Red? What's going on? The the the, the ninety six Sonics. The fuck off the show, man. The fuck off the show, man. Ah. <laughs> <sighs>
Now we got niggas. Now we got niggas like Van. They in the chat talking about, oh, I've I've donated a thousand dollars to the show. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, like, thanks. Um, you know, we appreciate you, Van. Um, but you know, we 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 don't beg for donations, man. You know, I'm not standing on the corner with a sign saying, "Hey, guys." Um, can you guys donate to my YouTube channel? Like, no, we don't, we don't beg for donations, man. If you donated, that was on your own volition, man. All right. You did that. Now you're, now you're trying to bring it up. That's crazy, man. That's actually insane, Vin. I'm disappointed in you, Vin. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm disappointed. Now niggas is bringing up. What they done donated. You could have kept it. <laughs> if you if you was going to do all that, you could have kept it. We, we, we're not begging. I've, I've never, we've, we, we don't have, we don't know, bro. People just, people just support the show, man. And if they don't, they, they don't. They, if, I mean, it's, it's, it's all good. Either way, it's good. Either way. People donate. That's great. If not, it's great. It's, it's I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? But we're, what we're not going to do is like, bring it up and try to throw it in niggas faces like like that means you get special privileges now like no man no that, that's what that's what's going on chat Vin and Lamont they think that they deserve special privileges in this hole that's what's going on nah man we, 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 we'll get y'all niggas the fuck out of here dog <laughs> we'll get we'll get y'all niggas out of here man y'all see what we about to do to Lamont I gotta say, we're a month and two weeks out. We're we're done. You ain't get no special privileges over this motherfucker. Niggas think because they got damn a uh, 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 a coach at a uh, uh, school or whatever that that means we that you feel Jackson in this hole. Nah, man, we we'll, we we'll kick you off the show too. Nobody's above the law here, man. I don't I don't care if you donate twenty thousand dollars. You're not above the law here, man. Nobody. If you come over here with 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 with, with and, and your takes are sketchy, I'm sorry, man. Like, we're gonna hold you guys accountable. <laughs> Everybody will be held accountable on this platform, man, including me. I told y'all, I am the president of basketball operations at the locker room. So guess what? I don't give a shit if you LeBron James. If you out here stinking it up, you're going to get traded, Lamont. You've been stinking it up. Nobody give a shit about that about your channel. You've been stinking to join up, man. You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for P.J. Tucker. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Shut your bitch ass up! Chat, we don't... <laughs> we don't care, man. All right? Nobody is above the law. And, and, and this this is this is why, chat, some niggas, and, and this is why I gotta give Charlene his credit. It, it, Cause cause Charlene said it on, on his video chat. This is why I gotta give Charlene his credit. He had a clip. Hold on, let me let me let me, let me play the clip. This shit is funny as hell, man. And I I agree with Charlene on this one, man. This is this is I see why Charlene don't open the show up, man. You niggas are you, niggas is on the show crying now, chat. Niggas is damn near in tears now over the over the show. Like, bro, go ahead, man. Say what you gotta say. Niggas is damn near crying on the show today, man. Like, what the fuck is going on? Hold on, man. Let me show you. Let me play out what, what Charlene said, man. Charlene was spot on, man. Let me play out what Charlene said. This shit funny as hell. Did <laughs> and having any debates? You know, we got people all day that come up in here twerking it up. 
telling me, oh, why do you got LeBron, why you got, you got, you got, you got LeBron hater, bark, 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 debate me. How many people you see anywhere, any serious shows, Shut got people calling up, up, random people calling up, debating them randomly? What serious shows do you see doing that? Would you, call, you okay, call up First Takes, uh, ESPN First Takes, call up one of these shows and debate with them. But when you see the uh, an independent creator, yeah, anything goes. Anything goes. Like, just call them up. Let's just start debating. Like, what is this? You think we're just here just doing stuff randomly? No, no, no. Like, we don't, we're, not, we're not trying to, we're not serious about our business. We're just just let anybody up here and just start debating. For what? <laughs> Chat, I, I feel Charlie on that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's how these niggas are. Debate me, debate me. Charlie said, for what? For what? <laughs> that nigga said, what is this? Like, what do, what do you think this is? Okay, you 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 call it first take. You you call it one of these other shows and, and debate with them. But when you see independent creator, it, now you now it's debate me. I feel Charlene on that shit, man. That's how these niggas are. Like, damn, I let you niggas on this show. What, what are you niggas crying about? Go ahead, man. <laughs> now niggas is crying on the show, man. Nah, man, we might have to. We might have to cut the. Listen, bro, we, we we might. Like I said, bro, chat. Free agency can't come soon enough, man. We're we're, we're overhauling this roster, chat. Like I said, next year, it, it, we not we not doing this next year, man. We not doing this next year, man. Call in, get your take off, man, and 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 and, and do like top fly high, man, and, and go eat your dinner, man, and and let's call it a night. <laughs> let's call it a night, man. Niggas is all in their feelings about this shit, man. We got Willie. He said, that's how Jordan is. He doesn't respond to nobody, including clowns. Yo, that dude, Willie, is funny, man. Lamont, you said no one is asking to debate you. Remember, you asked to come to FYF to debate. We didn't ask you to be there. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Lamont, you, you you know Goat James. I wish Goat James was in here. You know Goat James told me not to even fuck with y'all over there, man. Goat James told me not to even fuck with y'all. I said, nah, I'm going to give Lamont and them a chance, man. I'm going to go over there. And Goat James said, I told you not to go over there, man. Goat James said, y'all running a, a clown show. <laughs> I said, nah, I'll go, James. I'm going to go. I think it was on Breezy's channel. It was on Breezy's channel one night, Lamont. You missed it, man. Yeah, go, James, Toby, not even go over there. Yeah, I I had to, I got to be honest, Big Tone. I had to fall back from your boy, man, the locker room, man. man. I went up to you. I've no, been real, telling you, like you that, want that, that Nah, boy, it's not it's that, that, not boy, that man, I didn't. That boy is a two-way player, bro. No, for real, don't play like that. He's a two-way player. two-way player, bro. He's the only nigga to keep LeBron pitch up no matter what. <laughs> Yo, big Tom, the dude was talking. Like, my thing is, anytime you beat him in a debate, he always got a uh, a condescending narrative. Oh, like, boy. like, oh, you guys don't know basketball and all of this shit. So I'm like, all right, well, debate me then. He's like, oh, nobody debates. We just fans. Our debates don't matter. And I'm like, so what the fuck you got a show called The Smoke Show? Shut like, your it's bitch just ass too up. much of moving the goalposts for me. And it's like, I just did basketball talk. I ain't talk about none of the extra corny shit he was doing, but just basketball talk. When it came down to basketball content, I was whooping his ass. <laughs> and, and he got disrespectful. He got disrespectful to somebody on my panel, so I stopped fuck with him. You know how I know it was bad? He came all the way. He met. He came to my Facebook. Like I never seen nobody go from like yeah. look sorting somebody out on Facebook from YouTube. You like, it. bruh, yeah, I, I went to his page. He kept calling. He kept putting my picture. I said, Yo, you keep putting my picture up. Shut your bitch ass up. God, bro, that sound bite is so funny, bro. That nigga said, shut your bitch ass. <laughs> Yo, that is just the perfect sound bite, bro. He said that shit with so much passion. That's how I really be with these fuck niggas. <laughs> That's, how That's how I be with these fuck niggas, chat. You got to say that shit with passion, man. I do 
me and everything you want Shut to. your bitch ass up! <laughs> said that shit with so much passion that's why i put it on the show man that's that's how i felt when i heard it, i was like bro it's too funny but i gotta i gotta add this to the show that's how it be man these niggas come over here crying chat i can't believe today today was a legendary show man we got niggas over here crying bro that's crazy <laughs> that, top line that's sauce walker man that's sauce walker um, that's a funny dude, man. That's a funny dude. Funny clip. Um, but yeah, that's really going to do it for today's show, man. Um, you know, like I said, man, you know, you, you come on your own accord. You can leave on your own accord, man. You know, um, we, we don't, we, you know, I'm not holding no, uh, 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 uh you know, I'm not holding you dudes hostage, man. I'm not, I'm not forcing you to watch this shit, man. You know, you can always go. You know what I mean? You can you can leave anytime you want, man. It's okay. It's all good. Um, but yeah, man, I, I don't have time for, for the crime. I told you guys a long time ago, man. This is not a daycare center, man. All right? This is not a daycare center. You know? This is a business. I keep telling you niggas this. This shit is a business. If you guys aren't performing, you will get cut. You will get traded. The team will get blown up. The the GM and the coaches will get fired. This is just how these things go, man. You know? Now, some dudes get traded, chat, and they're, they're fine with it. Right. I mean, we've seen Bron trade guys off the team and they're still cool with them. You know what I mean? Lonzo, Kuzma, like they're, they're, they're fine with it. Right. Um, then you got guys like Russ where, he, you know, LeBron traded him and, and Russ can't even look LeBron in the eye anymore, man. I mean, Russ is still mad to this day about that trade. Right. That's just how it's going to go, man. Like I said, some of you dudes, you're just not going to like me. <laughs> That's just how it's going to go. I told you guys this. Right. Some of you guys just aren't going to like me. You know what I mean? It's okay. So like I said, Vin, this was a bad performance, man, um, from you today, man. This was you 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 had a you had a D low game today, Vin. You had a D low game, right? You, you you went you shot five of thirteen today, Vin. I'm expecting you know down the stretch, Vin. I'm expecting you know better performances out of you, man. Come on, Vin. <laughs> okay, we got a clown by the name of Deshaun. You said Russell Westbrook knew he was used as a scapegoat um, for LeBron losing. That's why he don't rock with him. No, um, Russell Westbrook, nobody scapegoated Russ, you idiot. Russ scapegoated his damn self. When Russ decided that he was going to focus more on fashion and, and his off-the-court businesses and ventures more so than he was going to focus on shooting the basketball. That, that, he scapegoated himself. See, I notice what you clowns do, right? Th this is what bitches do, right? They, they, they don't take accountability. They blame everybody else. Take accountability for Russ and, 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 and how he played with the Lakers. He played like trash. Not all the time, because he definitely did have some, you know, some good moments. But in, in, in totality, um, nah, man, Russ, Russ was not a good fit on the Los Angeles Lakers. So it is what it is. That's why he's on the Clippers now. And guess what? Is he winning on the Clippers? No. So it is what it is, man. Vin, you said a bad performance from you grouping me constantly claiming I'm ganging up when I when in fact I'm one of the strongest supporters. Go check. Once again, Vin. Um 
like I said, I, I wasn't just talking about you, but yes, you you were you're definitely included in there with Lamont, right? And it's not just you; it's another guy named Tuned as well. It's a it's a few of you dudes. So yes, I I, ha I have to group you, man. I'm sorry. You know, like I said, we haven't we haven't heard from you. You know what I mean? And 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 and, and like I said, as soon as Lamont came on the show, now now you needed the link. You know what I mean? Now you now like I said, now y'all want to jump. Like, come on, man. Um, we're not doing no jumping, man. You know, we're not doing that. Cause where were y'all at five days ago when we was the tenth seed? It would y'all y'all wasn't calling in in like, yo, Reg, yo, man, what's going on with the Lakers? Y'all was y'all y'all didn't call in. It's okay, but it's the truth though. Now Lamont wants to pop out. Oh well, Reg, what 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 do you think? How, what do you, you said the Lakers is trash. Now you're saying they're gonna win in six. What adjustments do you think? Yeah, and you also said that this is just our year to be trash too. You you said that as well. <laughs> like, we all say uh, we do a two hour show two times a day. Like we're gonna say a lot of things, man. I said I said a lot of things this season. <laughs> Marvin said Toon needs to be traded. Toon Toon's another one, man. Um Toon's another Toon's another one. Um you know, he's 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 going into that Lamont territory and I'm trying to stop him, but it's 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 getting hard. Um because you know, Lamont like you know I mean, this dude is just you know, it, it, like I said, Tunes going down that path, and I'm trying to save Tune because I like Tuned. You know, I I, I think Tune's a, a good guy. I, I like Tune, but you know, he's definitely going down the Lamont Road with this Austin Reeves thing. Um, so I'm I'm gonna try to save Tune, but if I can't save Tuned, you know, we still got a month and a half to go. If I can't save him, Chad, then I just can't save him. You know what I mean? We have to trade him, you know, to you know another channel, man. Um. And like I said, if he performs well over there, you know, I'll be listening. We'll be we'll, we'll still be paying attention. Um, and like I said, if he has good takes on those other platforms, then, you know, we might can bring him back. That man, LeBron James, is a flopping bitch. He's a flopping ass nigga, bro. Right. He's a flopping ass nigga, bro. His flopping ass. That flopping bitch ass nigga, bro. Like, this nigga act like he got hit by two fucking double glocks and shit. Paul George barely put a fucking elbow on this nigga. And this nigga act like he got hit by two double glocks and shit. What the fuck is y'all niggas talking about, man? Stupid ass nigga. Nigga barely fucking hit this nigga. This nigga get hit. This nigga act like he get hit by two double glocks and shit. So floppy motherfucker. Nigga need to slap the fuck out that. I can't stand that bitch. God damn. He said this used to be a place where you can come and make a take whether you agree or not. Now I'm a win hopper. Knock it off. I run a business. I can always call in, but I get it now. Chat, Charlene was right, man. Um, Charlene was right. You know, um, like I said, man. You know, if y'all want to debate, man, y'all gotta go to y'all gotta go to to a debate platform, man. You know what I mean? Y'all gotta go to a debate platform, man. Um, you know, like I said, man, everything's not a debate. Um, like I said, if you disagree or not, or you agree or not, it, it doesn't matter. Right. Um, but like I said, man, you know. I I, I, I I do run this team, ladies and gentlemen, I, I do run the team. OK, so like I said, if we've got, you know, we, we this is the locker room. Right. If we got guys in the locker room, you know. Being a, 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 a detriment to the team. Right. If their conduct is if their conduct is becoming detrimental to the team man then 
you know, like I said, as the president of basketball operations here, chat, I have to make tough decisions, man. And that's that some. Yes, that that is going to mean that's that that guys because I, I know some of you guys like Lamont. Some of you guys like Vin. Some of you guys like tuned. Listen, we I get it. I'm sure there were guys on the team that liked Dwight Howard and they liked Rondo and they liked Caruso. But tough decisions had to had to be made, chat. Tough decisions had to be made. This is not the this is not this is not the 70s and 80s where where, 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 where Magic Johnson got a lifetime deal with the Lakers. A 25 year contract. No, man. You do no. You dudes are on one year deals over here, man. You gotta perform. You can't come over here with these trash ass takes. You you you, you niggas are you 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 you're you're fucking up what we built here. We were fine. We chat, we were fine, man. We were fine, chat. We didn't we weren't bothering none of these niggas. Now they want to come bothering us. We was doing us, chat. We was minding our business, doing our shows. They saw we had a good thing going, chat. Now they want to come up here and murk up the waters. This is what they do. They got me debating some some lard back fat fuck double chin motherfucker named Low. They talking about I lost the debate. Niggas sat up here and dirtied up the whole argument. Didn't even stay on topic. They saw I lost the debate to Big Fan Breezy chat. This is Lamont. Lamont, they, they I went on his show. They trolling chat. They said I lost the debate to Big Fan Breezy. Y'all wanna know what the debate was about? We debated. Right? Would the Brooklyn Nets make it past the second round? Chat, the Brooklyn Nets didn't even make the playing tournament. Breezy, who's a who's the Brooklyn Nets fan, he debated that they were gonna make it to the second round. I debated they weren't. You know these you know these goofball niggas over there told me they said I they said, Oh, you lost the debate. I said, How? Oh, well, it's not about it's not about if you're right or wrong or not. It's who made the better argument. Man, what the fuck are you niggas talking about, man? Y'all niggas over there trolling, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas over there trolling over there on FYF, man. They didn't eat chat. Fuck the second round. They didn't make the play in tournament. They weren't even a top 10 team. How do I know your team better than you? You're the Nets fan. We don't cover the Nets. How do I know your team better than you? In fanhood, there's levels in fanhood. You a fan boy because you don't represent the hood. You represent the player. So don't put that representing a player and representing a team is the same thing. So watch your fanboy mouth anytime you draw on my name. Let's slow it down. She likes it my way. Shut your bitch ass up. How do I know your team better than you? I told him, I, I remember what I said to the clown in the debate. I said, y'all ain't going to get to the second round. Number one, you got no all-stars. You got Ben Simmons still on the roster. I, I went I went down the line and broke it down on why they ain't going to make the second round. These go This nigga Lamont let all these fucking goofball niggas on the panel, uh, uh, Young Africa, uh, uh, Nahari the Bulls, let all these clowns up on the show. And they talking about, oh, yeah, Breezy cooked him. He got cooked. Get him out of here. Hey, 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 Lamont. You, you let the bathroom, come over here, Lamont. You let the bathroom, come over here, Lamont. Make it, man, pack, pack, pack the bathroom up. Send him back to the bathroom, because he don't know basketball, Lamont. Hey, 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 Lamont. Hey, Lamont. You let the bathroom come on the FYF sports to base, Lamont. He don't know basketball. He's soft. Shut that shit up, man. He's soft. <laughs> like, what, 
what are we what are we talking about, man? Who the better scorer, LeBron or Kobe, man? Hey, Stop hey, 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 talk, hey, man. hey. Stop the fucking talk. Hey. I ain't trying to hear all that, man. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit ain't going to work, though. Yeah, yeah, you can do all that. It ain't going to work, though. It ain't going to work. Hey, hurry up. Hey, let's get to it, man. Hey, I yeah, see yeah. you, Lamont. I see you, Lamont. You're trying, you trying to protect the bathroom, Lamont. I see yeah, you, Lamont. You're trying, you trying to protect the bathroom. You let them duck sturdy. You let them duck me. No, it's not going to allow the to get in the ring and battle the big dogs over here. FYS for the face, Lamont. Yo, that shit. Is I, crazy, this, this is my first time hearing oh Reggie debate, so I definitely hear <laughs> this over here. Oh, young Africa, man, you got to get him for that one, man. You oh, no, 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 we got to go, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Chat, Go, Go, James was right, chat. Go, James was right. Charlene was right, chat. This dude's a snake. <laughs> this dude's a snake, man. Charlene was right about that boy Lamont, man. Charlene said that dude Lamont is a snake. Nigga talking about I lost the debate to big fan Breezy. Oh, but 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 Reg, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about who presented the better argument. And now look, here we are six months later. Who was right and who was wrong? Who was right and who was wrong? Who was right and who was wrong? He talking about he cooked me. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Cooked what? <laughs> what did he what did he cook? His team didn't even make the play in tournament. The second round. <laughs> I told I told this clown last summer. No, two summers ago. Yeah, two summers ago in 2022. I told Breezy, I said, this is y'all last year. After this year, they breaking this team up. Chat, they didn't even make it to the whole year. They traded Katie and Kyrie at the trade deadline. How do I know your, t how, how do I know your organization better than you? You're a clown, man. Y'all gonna make the second round. With who? Mikael Bridges and, and Cam Johnson? Man, y'all some fucking clowns. The Brooklyn Nets, the worst organization in sports history. Let's talk about it. Who the fuck trades two superstars for, for four role players? Who in the fuck does that? They traded KD for Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges and some draft picks. Nigga, let me, let, okay. What type of organization, what type of clown show y'all running? That'd, that'd be like us trading LeBron for Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges. Nigga, we'll riot. We'll riot downtown L.A., nigga, if they do that. We'll riot downtown L.A. They trade LeBron for Cam Johnson and, and Mikael Bridges. We'll burn, we'll burn the whole downtown down. <laughs> we will burn the Crypto.com arena down if they trade LeBron James for Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges. Y'all some clowns, man. They traded away Kyrie Irving for Spencer Dinwiddie and Dorian Finney-Smith. Spencer Dinwiddie ain't even on the team anymore. What type of clown show are these these dudes running over there in Brooklyn? And he's sitting up there doing his little shitty stream. Like I said, Breezy, shut it down, man. All right? Shut it down. We'll see you at Media Day next summer or, 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 or next fall, this fall. We'll see you at media day. It's over. <laughs> he said, who else can you impersonate? You got to do a show in just those voices. Nah, man. You know what's funny? Uh, uh, who said that? Was that Joseph? Yeah, that was Joseph. You know what's funny, man? I was literally laughing at this shit, bro. I put this picture on the screen of uh, 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 Charlene, and I, I played I played his sound bite when when he said uh, LeBron fans hate LeBron. That's just the reality. 
his fans make you hate him, and I just I just let it loop. Bro, I was I was fucking dying laughing, bro. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. <laughs> That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. <laughs> That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. Chat, what if, That's just the reality. What if I just His what if I just let this run? <laughs> LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. Well, chat, what if I just let that run the whole show? That'd be some funny shit, man. Niggas will click out the video, come back. He's still saying, LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. Man, this, dude, this dude's a clown, man. This dude's a clown, man. But nah, I, I agree with Charlene, though, man. Um, I see why Charlene don't, don't let y'all dudes on, on his show. You know, I see why now, man. Y'all dudes, y'all y'all getting crazy now. They getting crazy, chat. Seriously, they are. I mean, these dudes done ran me off Instagram, chat. I ain't lying, man. These dudes done ran me off Instagram. I used to I used to put my Instagram on the show. Yo, y'all follow me. We got a group chat going. I had to stop doing that, man. These dudes, I mean, these dudes are, like, the internet is just, these dudes weird, bro. These dudes weird, man. I mean, they trolling you, hitting you up all hours of the night, sending you reels, doing all kinds of stuff, man. I said, nah, man, I, I got to get off this shit, bro. And I'm about to get off Twitter, too. You know what I mean? Because Twitter is getting insane. Um, I'm about to get off Twitter, too. Twitter's starting to, you know, it's starting to become too much. Um, <laughs> Pacey said if the Lakers win the chip Do a two hour live with just that Nah we will do something like that man We will bro We'll just put a stupid ass picture of Charlene up there And we'll just We'll just get get a compilation of all his sound bites and just do a whole stream. Do a whole stream with Char with Charlene clips. Eric said Twitter is absolutely disgusting, literally a porn site. Nah, man, it is, man. I I, I can't even um disagree with you. It it is. I mean, it's it's a cesspool. It's a cesspool, man. Um, you know, if if I were if I were to have a kid, bro, I, my my kid wouldn't get a phone today. Eighteen. I ain't lying. If I if I ever if I have a kid tomorrow, you ain't getting a phone till you about eighteen, bro. I promise you. And I and ain't going. I ain't going. I ain't doing no Kim Kardashian, uh, Kanye shit. You, you, I ain't, I ain't playing them games. What I say is gonna go. We not finna. Oh, if I say if I say I don't want her on TikTok, she ain't gonna be on no goddamn TikTok. Y'all ain't finna be going behind my back and and making TikToks. No, I said no TikTok, and that's that. But yeah, my my man, listen. These phones, bro. These phones are the devil. These phones are the devil, man. Um, seriously, the internet is the devil. Um, you know, a lot of weird stuff going on, man. You gotta you gotta protect it. You gotta protect yourself out here. BMW, so I keep my Twitter private. Exactly. Max Christie, fuck you because you got a girlfriend. You be adding my bitch back to fuck her, even though you're not getting any pussy from her. Exactly, Pacey. Kids should never be on social media. Exactly. This why I chat. This why I had to. I had to squash my beef with Leonardo, man. That dude Leonardo had me scared, bro. I'm here, pussy. Hey, it's listen. What you talking about, hey, listen. Hey, I'm hey, here. hey, listen. Yeah. Give, give hey, listen. You, you, did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? Applause. Did you watch the game? Yes, I watched the game. Okay. Shit, so, so, so listen. So, 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 so give credit, or you gonna get the you fuck off the show. You gonna give credit, or you gonna get the fuck off the show. You gonna give credit, or you gonna get the fuck off the show, pussy. The fuck off the show. Fuck you think this is, nigga. You gonna pay homage, or you gonna get the fuck off the show? I'm I'm serious, bro. I had to. I, I'm 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 glad we was able to squash that beef, man. I'm telling y'all, think I'm bullshit. I, I would go down to the kitchen at night, man, and you know, I, I would just I would just envision like Leonardo just popping out in the window, like just doing something crazy, man. 
Like I said, it's in, I'm scared of these niggas chat on this internet, bro. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared of these niggas on this internet shit chat. These niggas, is, I mean, I mean, these niggas are weirdos. These niggas are weirdos, man. I'm not even bullshitting. These niggas weird, man. I'm scared of you niggas. I ain't lying. I'm like, like I said, Leonardo. I'm glad we cool now, man. For real, I'm glad we had. I'm glad we squashed that beef, man. That 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 shit got scary. That shit got scary, bro. When that dude went over and and and, and told Lamont that I fucked one of his bitches, I'm like, yo, this dude, this dude, this dude's crazy. I gonna tell you why when what the beef started with me and Reggie, right? Reggie fucked one of my niggas' bitches, right? The locker room went to fuck one of my niggas' bitches, right? What? That's what he fucking did. He fucking disrespected the bitch. She give me some time, I can be the man she needs. There's a lot of lust inside of me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Honey, it's tripping. When that dude said that, I'm like, yo. I mean, we I got dudes making up stories in their head about me, man. I mean, this is this is scary, you know? This is scary, man. I'm telling y'all, bro, this internet ain't nothing to play with, bro. This dude, this shit gets we shit get wicked, man. <laughs> it should get wicked, chat. This shit get wicked, man. These dudes are dox you. I mean, do all kinds of crazy shit, man. I mean, we got some niggas, they even doxing themselves, man. Like, uh, like, the, like the pull up pod trash. He doxed himself. He told us where he work and everything. First, first name, last name, told us his place of employment, all kinds of stupid shit. I'm like, this dude's an idiot. All right. So now that that, that fraudulent ass niggas off the bat, let me tell y'all the real truth. First of all, he talking about somebody buying subscribers. That's where you get the big jump from ten thousand to fifteen to twenty to twenty five to thirty thousand. I don't but do none that, of that. Yeah. I don't do right. none of that. But if your content is so good, BJ, you will have more than three thousand subscribers. If you so good, if you if you what you doing is so good, you will have more than what you have. And all those names that you mentioned in your interviews, why your channel not growing then? Because your interviews were actually mediocre. She likes it my way. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, man, um, I don't want I don't want no problems with you dudes, man. Seriously, I don't want any problems, man. Um, you know, we're just here. We're just we're just trying to do the little show, man. And, <laughs> and that's it. You know, if I cuss you out, if I kick you off the show, right, if I block you, man, um, please, man, it, it's, it's nothing personal. I'm just doing this for my own protection and for my own sanity, man. Um you know, like I said, we still wish you dudes the best on on your other team, man. But yeah, if we if we cut you or wave you, man. Like I said, if you guys play well, um, there 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 is a possibility that we could bring you guys back. But you know, if not, man, we wish you guys the best, man. Seriously, you dudes. Are, I mean, you dudes are getting a little bit personal now, man. I, I don't know you dudes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, chat. These niggas getting personal, like like we know each other, man. Like I like, bro. I don't I don't even know you, man. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know why you're crying, man. Um. But yeah, man. That's it, chat. We we're approaching two and a half hours, man. Um. I got said, chat. We we'll be live later on tonight, man. Um. You know, we got a lot to talk about, man. Um, it's playoff time, so we will be ramping up our coverage, covering these other teams, covering these other games. Who's on right now? Is uh, is Jimmy Butler? Is the girl on? I think Jimmy Butler and them playing right. Yeah, Big Tone and them. <laughs> chat, Big Tone and them on right now, chat. So, yeah, they up on Philadelphia right now, chat. So, yeah, I'm finna go watch this game, man. It's the second quarter. I'm finna go watch this game. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back live tonight after these games, man. We'll talk about these games. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys um, posted for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, man, um, good show. Shout out to everybody that tuned in, man. I will catch you guys later tonight, man. This was another installment of The Locker Room. Peace.
I told you the truth about your feelings because you are a sensitive cat. You do get emotional and your feelings about certain you, things. As like I picture, said, you're showing your true colors now because you trying to act like you a big dog because you brought a few names on your platform. I but like I said, you if you're you you so much of a big dog, big why you have a capitalized off that if you know so much? So end of the I day, know, with those again, names that again, you brought that's on, you still you still have a capitalized. And it ain't about it ain't about that, DJ. End of the this day, what I'm gonna do. This, this, what I'm gonna do. this be a better content creator this on your do. own, nigga. And when you do that, then then I'm gonna do. Okay, this what I'm gonna do. This what I'm gonna do. Fuck your names, nigga. Fuck what you do. bring on. This Can you be interesting? Can you be the commodity? Can you be the reason why people pull up to your show? I don't think so. Because you lame. You ain't 100. You a monk. You got your mama way. You got that. You act like you're bigger than you are. And you try to use certain shit. You try to use certain shit to degrade nigga. Because when locker room, you doing the same thing. That's what you use locker room to do. So you a fucking hypocrite. Oh, you. You want to go after the bisexual nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. The, 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 the 96 Sonic. The fuck off the show. I said fuck school, cool kids, wasn't cool to me. They never really liked me. Being hated isn't new to me, but uh, I get it. Cause when you win and they isn't, jealousy has no ending. So pray the Lord, forgive them. Every day I gotta thank them for the blessings. Rumors about my life, will I ever address them? I don't know. Worry about your kicks, my nigga, and what are those? <laughs> Yeah, we don't know music nowadays, but y'all gotta be kidding me. Lyrics was whack, gave him an A for his energy. You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up. But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up. I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas. Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us. So go on and ask him who the greatest is. And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills. It's real. When it comes to my women, if it's over, then it's over. I'm glad that we in it. She coming back when she see how I'm living. She played games with a nigga, but now that I'm winning, she doing everything I say with no questions asked. I'm sucking on the titties while I'm grabbing the ass. I used to daydream about her back when I was in class. So you know that when I fucked, I came fast and laughed. I'm doing me now, bigger rings for the team now. Trying to tie me down fast, tell her slow it down. Baby girl wanna sit and play house So I sat on the couch and put this thing in her mouth How to flow so north, but he raised in the south Got my family tripping cause they can't figure it out I can't wait no more, man, the time is now On my mama, I'ma make a prayer The story is You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and say be the center. There's certain qualities that the center is going to need playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for PJ Tucker. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs>